hello, hello. You're not gonna believe what I have with me. Well, I mean, it's not that cool, but are y'all ready to see my snack of the night? I don't mean me. Hello. I mean, I am a snack. I do look amazing. I need to go get a lozenge. I'm still coughing a ton, but you wanna see my snack? Is it a corn dog? No, eat chicken. It is some bursin, so some yummy, yummy cheese and a cheese and onion baguette. I have been raw dogging this all day. <laughs> it's so yummy. It's so fucking yummy, chat. Mm. Mm. Is that the wonderful Sire I hear and see? Oh yes, happy day. Sire and Otters, Sire and Wiggle, Sire and Otters. Hello, Sean, thank you for the 46 month resub. You are almost at four years. That's crazy. Hello, hello. You wanna know something sad, chat? So, the sub goal that I had yesterday was actually not accurate. We only have 375 subs. That's still crazy. Not as much as we thought we had, but still, gnarly. Mm. I had to go back to using um the automated sub counter instead of the manual one because it doesn't update correctly. But that's okay. We ball. How's everybody doing today? I hope everyone is having a better day a better day than I am. I was supposed to clean and I did do a little bit of cleaning, but like I don't know, today just felt like a write-off. Right, Waldo? Right? I know, can you believe it, hot Mexican dad? I'm a streamer again. I'm actually streaming consistently. I've streamed every single stream day this week, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Who am I? Holy shit, look at this. Chat, you ready? Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. 16 months. Hope you're doing as well as possible. Thank you, Brandon. Hello, hello. Thank you for choosing my resub. So I officially recognize streamers. Are. Hello, Corrigan. How are you? I just had a revela revelation that I should have dressed up my tuxedo because it's prepping for Halloween! Oh my god, you should have! You absolutely should have because Pepper is, is like loosely based off of a tuxedo cap. That's why her outfit looks the way it does. Like, let me show y'all. So. Oi. So this outfit is loosely based off of like tuxedo cats. Like, you know, she's got the black hair and like bits of black and white everywhere. It should be the other way around. Like if I could make the bands on her on her um, wrists white and the collar white, I would, but I can't. So it's kind of reverse, but still. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I know, the sound was really good. No, oh, really, really good. It's not even a sandwich. It's really just a baguette. And now I know why Walls will be lurking. Yeah. He just wants the bread and cheese. My ex who cheated on me hit me up, so it's a day. Um. First rule of exes. It's okay to be friends, but if they cheated on you, get the fuck out of there. <laughs> mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. -mm. Like, they're the one that hits you up, you know? If you hit them up, that's another story. But they hit you up? The fucking audacity, man. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, Gain. Is there a thing they're gonna be introducing to dying? Is that a thing? What are some of the, um... The stuff that are, that's gonna be updated for 
7.0, that's not, you know, spoiler, spoilery for me. Wow, actually in Dawn Trail, we're gonna get two times die or like two two die slots? Fuck yeah. Mmm. Mmm. We're getting a glasses slot? Oh hell yeah. Well do your hair. How is your hair everywhere already, baby? Massive graphical overhaul too? I heard it was supposed to be a big one, but I saw, like, the photos that I saw before do not look like the ones I saw recently. Mm. So, I don't know how, how good that's going to look, but I am very excited to see Pepper in, like, higher quality. <laughs> New classes, melee DPS and caster. Oh yeah, the um, the um, the what is it called, Viper, or whatever. Riggs, thank you so much for the partner love. I appreciate it. Mm. Wow! Wow! Hmm. Kelsey, I'm gonna be honest. I saw the Dawn Trail trailer as well. <laughs> like, I could not not see it. It was everywhere. GIFs of it, photos of it, everywhere. So. But I don't have much context for it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand anything. And I already forgot, like, half of what was in that trailer. I think I saw Grahatia eating a taco. And honestly, he should be eating my taco. But that's a conversation for another day. Gangsters, what's up, guys? I have returned. Hello, General Cone. Welcome back. Mm. Why do you need more tank glasses? Dark don't exist. It's perfect. True. True. You're spitting. Dark Knight Fox. But I would love to level more tank classes. I know I still have to like do warrior and um whatever the fuck the other one is, but I'll get to that. I feel like every other class that I'm gonna level is gonna be such a bore. Hello, Ash. Mmm. Okay. Ooh, I put my cheese away incorrectly. Hold on. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna have like one more bite of my little baguette. And I'm gonna put it away so Waldo can leave. Because I feel bad. And um, I'll touch up my makeup because I got my, my lip on my chin. My lipstick on my chin. And then we can continue um, discussing FF14. Mmm. Okay, but Mango, I feel like every quest line or every job quest line is like uncomparable to the Dark Knight quest line. I came for the bread. Wanna buy it? In the way it looks like you're dipping your sandwich in a cupcake, it does kind of look like that, but it's cheese. You know what this would taste really good with? Chili oil. Hello, Seb Dot. What's up? Hello, hello. Wait, Seb, is that you? What's up? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. 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 Let me. <laughs> let me put. Nice baguette. Thank you. Do you want a bite too? Take a small bite. Gangsters, what's up, guys? I'll take a bite. Haven't eaten yet today. I hope you enjoyed your bite cone. You gotta save some for me though, okay? Where's the butter? No butter. Only cream cheese. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm gonna put my baguette away. And then I'm gonna fix this. And then we can continue our, uh, our Final Fantasy 14 discussion. Give me uno. Oh my God. 
Oh my god. Okay, give me one sec. There we go. <laughs> Cardigan on? Cardigan? Is this a cardigan? This is not a cardigan. This is just a coat. Oi! Okay. Hello. I've touched up my face a little bit. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, beans. Thank you, thank you. Let me just do my lippy. Look how sad this is. That's how much I use this color. Okay, this color is amazing. All right, and now that that's done, we can hang out. It is well loved, that's one way to put it. Mm. I imagine you getting lipstick on the chin again. It happens, cause like my chin, see look. See how much it sticks out? And so when I go like that, my lip just completely touches it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any context for Dawn Trail. I've been avoiding as many spoilers as I can. Um, but I did see the trailer. And I did see the new class. But that is quite literally all I've seen. And mind you, I don't remember a single thing from the trailer apart from Grahatia eating a taco. So I don't, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that entails. I know he likes burgers. I know that much. Oh, Poncha, I gotta get my, I gotta get my bow because oh, I'm balding. Because the Pepper MSQ fit is upgraded. We're not only wearing the cat ears, we're also gonna be wearing the Pepper bow, okay? What I know of Dontrail, there's a boat, Graha eats tacos. Literally, that's all I know. I'm very excited to see what is in store um, for the rest of Endwalker and how it leads to us being on a ship. <laughs> Dentist! Thank you for the... Thank you for the 25 gifted subs. I appreciate it. We just yeah, hit 400. Love, so, guys. Sure. Thank you for the 100 bitties. Choo-choo. We got the hype twain going. Thank you, dentist. Thank you so much to everybody that got gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your stay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to update this, but it's not letting me. Toad singing crashed my Twitch app. I'm sorry. I just noticed the Emmett Selk body pillow. Oh my God, we've had that body pillow for a while now. Thank you, Sackington. Thank you very much. Thank you for the, ah, for the partner love. I appreciate it. All right. Is the 
Toad singing, is it you? No, but honestly, it may as well be. Cause I can do that voice very well. We all know that I can do a really good Toad voice. I'm not gonna do it right now because my throat is hurting, but I should, I should. I wish I made a video for that uh, person on Twitter who wanted, who was looking for someone to do a Toad voiceover. Yo, Lazinator, hello! Yes, we're back into 6.0. Are y'all ready? Are y'all excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be back in Endwalker. Y'all have no idea. Kiko, enjoy your sub! Hannah, hello! Fluffy, hello, hello! Also enjoy your sub! Mmm. My body is ready. Kelsey, you have been waiting for this moment. I feel like the stream is like low-key dedicated to you at this point. I have to get into Final Fantasy 14. You do. You do need to get into FF14. Look, all I'm saying is we have an FC. Okay? We have an FC on Crystal Goblin. And it's open for everybody. Anyone and, and everyone can join it. So you'll always have people to play with, okay? Which doesn't sound that bad. Nixie, hello! Yes, we're MSQing. We are MSQing today. I'm scared. We're at a level four hype train. Slay. Slay, slay, slay. We fucking love to see it. FF14 is kind of good, I guess. It is amazing. I mean it when I say it that this is truly my favorite game. I love Dragon Age. Do not get me wrong. Dragon Age is amazing. Okay. But I get to play with my friends in this game. Okay. Like it's just a whole, it's a whole new world. A dazzling place I never knew. Little bit of hello, how are you? Joker, hey, what's up? Oh my god, you know what I haven't done yet, chat? Drop drop a fucking emote in the chat and I'll say hi to y'all. I forgot to do my to do my hellos at the beginning of the stream. I was so busy with my fucking baguette that I forgot to do the hellos. <laughs> Get the hell head nodders. We've already been live for 30 minutes. Time is just whizzing by. Can you believe it? We've been live for 30 minutes and it's only 7.20 my time, which means we have a lot of Endwalker coming up. We've got a lot of Endwalker coming right up. Dentist, hello. Hi, Kelsey. Hi, Joker. Hi, Ashley. The game she plays. Hello. Hi, Prince. Hi, Lazinator. Hi, Mango. Hi, Kikumang. Hi, Vin. Hi, Nixie. Hi, Corrigan. Hi, Hinha. Hi, Dissatisfied. Hi, Arun. Hi, Gain. Hi, Omo. Hi, Sean. Hi, Fluffy. Did I already say hi to you a little bit? I did, but I'm saying hi again. Hello, little bit. <laughs> Hello, E Chicken. Hi, Alec. Yeah, I'm very excited. Sackington, did I thank you for the sub yet? You did sub to me, right? One. Hey, one second, chat. Wait, you did a tier two sub. Oh shit, I logged out. I logged out of my Streamlabs. Shit. I did not mean to do that. Fuck. Okay, we're good. We should be good. We should be okay. Hopefully that doesn't fuck this up. Hopefully that doesn't fuck that up. I'll be really sad if it does. Let me see. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're all good. We're all good. I'm all right, Hinha. I'm okay. I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm in a bit of a mood, honestly. I'm, I'm not in a bad mood nor am I in a good mood. Does that make sense? Do y'all ever get those, those like feels where you have no actual reason to be 
like kind of blah, but you just are. That's me right now. Yeah, weird headspace days. My period is on its way, so I'm assuming like my hormones are playing a part in this. You know, plus like the weather and the seasons. Yeah, exactly. Like everything around me is changing, so I think it's all just playing a part. Also, Quentin, hello. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I don't know. It could also be from like the copious amounts of drinking and partying that I've done. Like, I think now that I'm back into work mode, my body is now just like. Whew. You know? I have to deep clean my home. I have to donate a bunch of clothes. Like, I've got so much to do. If anyone here is from Toronto, by the way, and is a size XS or double XS to S. Hit me up. I have a ton of clothes, like coats and shoes and cute dresses and shit that I'm trying to give away. And I'm trying to sell and donate and stuff. If any of y'all want it, let me know. If there are any weirdos in the chat that want my socks, let me know. <laughs> mm. Too much pitbull. Hey, there's no such thing as too much pitbull. Mercury is in microbraids. Don't fucking kill me. D wasn't there like an eclipse not long ago? Wasn't that a whole thing? And it's like fucking everybody up. What is this bald patch? Like actually, can we not? <laughs> Dolly. Thank you, Jolly. Thank you. Welcome to the chat. And thank you, Agent, as well. Thank you. My friend is that size if you're donoing. Uh... Well, if I am unable to sell certain things, I can hand them to your friend. Yeah, there's a, I have a bunch of like expensive coats and dresses and like lingerie that I would rather sell than donate. You know what I mean? Like some of these things range anywhere between like $200 to $1,000. Um, so if I can sell it for like even like a fraction of the price, I would like to do that. But if I'm unable to, then I'll just fucking donate it to like a really nice, like just like a thrift store or something. You know, I don't mean to be like stingy, but some of these things, it's like I've bought them. I wore them once or I never wore them and it's past the return date. So it's like, yeah. <laughs> 1K, I think that's more than my entire wardrobe. Oh, I don't want to. I don't even want to talk about how expensive my wardrobe is. <laughs> Thank you, Hinha. Thank you. Waiting for someone to accuse me of getting Cyrus socks. Dentist, it's not accusal. It's not accusing if it's true. Everyone run to the nearest value village and side donates. <laughs> Honestly, like if I could just like mail stuff out to some of my like Twitch friends too, it's like here, you beautiful people. Take my fucking clothes. Yeah, Valley Village kind of sucks. Valley Village kind of sucks in terms of their pricing, but sometimes you can get a banger in there. I like nice clothes, but I'm also way bigger than you. Listen. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm an itty bitty little guy. I don't know what to say. I'm just an itty bitty little dude. That's my problem right now. I've, I'm one of the, I'm the smallest of my friends, I think. And so, like, I have to go on the Facebook marketplace. <laughs> we met IRL, I know you tiny. Oh my God, chat, I got humbled. Yo, wait, chat, I got humbled so fucking bad. Okay, so you know I went shopping yesterday, right? I, I, I did my haul and everything on Twitch, right? So I was talking to, uh, like, the lady at Aritzia or Babaton, um, who was uh, helping me out with my coat. And I was like, do I get um the cropped or do i get the oversized and she was like oh if you're gonna be wearing it with mini skirts you should definitely get the cropped and i was like okay true like i wanted to get the oversized one but like i'm really tiny so like it like looks weird on like my my figure and she was like you're not tiny those shoes hardly give you a boost and i was like and like I don't mean, I don't mean no shade to this woman either, but was that, was that jealousy that I'm hearing? 
Because, like, I meant in the sense that, like, I got skinny legs, I got skinny arms, like, I'm, I'm small. Like, it's not just like, oh, she's short. It's like, I'm small. You know, like, I'm a little guy. And so for this woman to be like, you're not tiny. Like, no, dude, I was wearing, I was wearing an oversized sweater, sweatpants, or oversized, like, like, cargo denim oversized pant thingies. My Prada combat boots and then like a big All Saints coat on top. So in, in like her defense, like I was just kind of bulky, but like. No, she meant my size. She meant me. Like She was looking me up and down like you're not small, like you're not that small. And I was like, OK, bitch, like I know you Aritzia workers are assholes, but shut the fuck up. One my friend, so I had this friend who used to work at Aritzia and she taught me something that I have never forgotten and it makes me very, very uncomfortable. Um, so if you walk into an Aritzia establishment and you are wearing expensive clothes, the workers will hound you because they know you are capable of walking out with something like they can like like you like you'll buy something. And like, I'm always shopping around with my, like my St. Laurent purses. And so now if I'm going to Aritzia, I make sure I'm dressed like in my, in my more, I guess, like humble, humble clothes. Cause I don't like, I don't need, like, it's true though. It's literally true because I'll walk in and I'll have 10 girls be like, oh my God, do you need help? Oh my God, do you need help? Do you need help? Do you need help? Do you need help? Oh, shut the fuck up. My friend over there who's trying to buy something needs help. Go to them, not me, bro. I'm on my phone. I'm picking my nose, you know, spilling my coffee everywhere. I don't need help. Well, maybe check me into an asylum, but I'm not the one shopping here. <laughs> I like uh, shopping comfy though, anyways. When I go shopping, I like to wear my hoodies and a comfy coat and, and all that. Yo, Pro Sauce, what's up? Send me in there with my thrifted clothes. I'll be able to shop in peace. No, actually though. Yeah, I don't like it when workers like comment on my body. Like, it's it's weird it's really weird it's uncomfortable especially when they do it in a way where it's like negative you know there's what it's this one thing to go like ah like don't worry about it ah you're not the you know like the the very like pat on the back like you know like that kind of thing right the reassuring kind of you know response but when it's like pfft, like, all right, <laughs> relax. Dead Mango, thank you for gifting Pro Sauce a sub. Pro Sauce, welcome to the Code Under Bedroom Center stay. Either be reassuring or hold your tongue. Exactly, Anna, exactly. Either shut the fuck up. <laughs> or just fucking pull. <laughs> They're French? Stop. Hey, yo, the French are bitches. I accidentally ratioed someone on Twitter because I said, fuck the British. I don't even remember what I was replying to, but like, fuck the British. How was the Halloween thing with Jig? It was really good. It was a lot of fun. I, I have a sore throat from it. I'm very fucking tired, but it was a ton of fun. We did two rounds of the scorpion eating a scorpion eating contest, so it was a, it was a delight to force people into eating critters. Hello, been following for a while. This is the first stream I managed to join. Nice to meet you. Hello, Irish. Welcome in, everyone. Say hi to Irish. Say hello. Say hola. As an Indian, I agree. Fuck the British. Amen. Amen. Jokes on you. I will eat all critters except for crickets. Oh my god. So they also have a cocktail called the xenofauna, which is based off of the xenomorph. And there's like a cricket or like a grasshopper or something on it. Completely edible. Which is so crazy. What a fucking wild bar that place is, honestly. 
Irish joins immediately when you said fuck the Brits. They know what's up. Are those actual critters? Yeah, they're real. The scorpion? Yeah, they're real scorpions. Some people said that they were flavorless and someone said it tasted nutty. Hold on, actually I have a clip of it. And then it's just me looking at the camera like, like actually, and I didn't even mean to. It's so funny, hold on. Let me see if I can find the video. It's one of these ones. Let's see. Not that one. No, it was, was it Lara Croft that said it? Hold on. I'm so cute. I'm so cute, chat. I'm so small. Like, you're telling me this isn't a small little dude? I'm just, I'm just a little guy. Look at me. Look at me in the white. I'm just a little dude. <laughs> Fuck, where's the, where's the bit of, of uh, me looking at the camera? Fuck. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. There's, there's so many things here. Shit. There's so many videos. Oh, I found it. 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 Okay, I don't know if y'all will even be able to hear anything, but like, that's okay. I had the perfect just... <laughs> it was so good. It was so fucking good. Just... <laughs> With the lip pout and everything. Davey, hello! Just made it in time for Crick Cocktails talk. Crick Tales, yes. Yes, indeed. I find that dry bugs taste like herbs, I guess herbs they taste herbal wait chat do you say herb or herb do you say herbal tea or herbal tea i don't pronounce the h and i feel like that's wrong hello stream that shit stream that shit herb 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 the h is sound herb 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 okay you know what i feel validated Kelsey's wrong. Everyone point at Kelsey and shame her. You're wrong. Shame. <laughs> like herb sounds wrong too, but herb also sounds wrong. Like herby. Herby. Herby derby. Gerby burber. Deeber herber. Eeby burber. Heeby derby. Heber, heber, burp. There's a fucking movie where they go herbeep. Fuck, what is it? It's a Seth MacFarlane thing. Herbeep. Herb, herbeep. Kermit sounded ass. <laughs> Burn Ernie. <laughs> that's, that's, it, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. That's what I meant. Not Seth MacFarlane. Fucking Ernie and Bernie. That's it. <laughs> Hi, Ernie. <laughs> Oh my god. Someone fucking tossed me on a Sesame Street or turned me into a Muppet or some shit. Hiya, Ernie. <laughs> Ernie and Bernie? Ernie um, Ernie and Bernie are from Shark Tales. Ernie, you made a joke. Good one, man. Respect. That's Shark Tale. Ernie, the H on Hernie is silent. Ernie, a pepper muppet would be adorable. A pepper muppet would be adorable. Okay, wait. Wait, if we had a pepper muppet, we'd all have to fist her to make her speak. Oh my god, wait. 
Should we get, should I should I commission like a pepper puppet? What what if I became like a ventriloquist? <laughs> uh I can I mean okay look I can't talk with my mouth closed but I can talk with my teeth closed. Uh uh Hey guys, that's so cool! I can't believe we're doing this! Oh my god! Okay, like I'm kind of fucking it up a little bit. <laughs> Hither and dither. No, not hither and dither. Hither. I, 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 my mouth doesn't even move when I say that. Hither and dither. Dither, dither. Instead of Pepper VTuber, we get Pepper Puppet on stream at the mic. Could you imagine, though? Like, could you imagine just here in my cam? It's just. That would be so funny. Thank you, Loop Guru. <gasps> Hi, Vosk. Hi, Cute Bean. I'm going to go to a dog park for a bit. Then I will come by for the stream. Yay! I'm excited to have you here, Vosk. Will we be seeing Vo as well? We better. We better be seeing Vo. Sweet, sweet Vo. It's just my hand while Syra games. Yeah, because I need two hands to game. Oh my god, wait, can we make this happen? What about Z and Z? I always say Z, but sometimes I fuck up and say Z. So I guess technically I don't always say Z. There was so much PR at BlizzCon, I was physically cringing. So much PR? As in? What was going on? They were tooting their own horn while Yoshi P was apologizing for so much stuff. So much for stuff? Wait, what do you mean? I mean, I guess that's the difference between like NA and C, JP, I guess. NA, they all got fucking egos, you know? I'm too scared to search Muppet VTuber. Don't worry, I'll do it for you. First of all, I just want to see the Muppet stuff. But first of all, if you're a VTuber and you infantilize yourself, you're disgusting. And I don't think you should have a platform. I don't care if that's mean. I don't care if that's me talking shit. You don't deserve a platform. You're fucking weird. Don't infantilize yourself. And yeah. Just don't. Just don't. Don't be weird. Don't fucking pedo bait. Don't. Oh, it's not pedo baiting. I just like I just like small stuff. Okay, same. I like I'm I like cutesy like little like goofy stuff too. Do you see me? Do you see like my content though? Like versus that? You know what I mean? Do not pedo bait. Oh, look at me. I have no boobs. My body is the size of like a four-year-old and my voice is all the way up here. I talk like this because I'm a baby. Oh my god. Pee pee poo poo. I want to suck your. Like. <sighs> anyway, I just want to see them. Oh my god. I just want to see the Muppet. Oh, she's evolving. Oh, she's evolving. Oh shit. That's kind of cool. I don't want to see their outfit. That is hilarious, though. That is so fucking funny. 
if okay i would love now i want a muppet uh, like a muppet vtuber thing what's this one we have come to why oh it's an actual just muppet on a green screen i didn't even do what i want one i want one chat can we get me one can we please get me one I want to shove my fist up something and make it talk. Thanks for being amazing, Saira. I'm so glad that's what followed me saying I want to shove my fist up something. <laughs> Thank you for the seven month resub, Zero. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> that's what being in a relationship is about. Davey, you got me there. Hey, you want a date? Horsham Muppet? I just have a little Horsham on. I followed you on Twitch forever, but this is the first time I've caught your stream. I'm so glad I did. I'm glad that you did too. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself here. We're not normal, but we pretend to be. I do my best. I do my best at uh, deceiving people into thinking that I am a normal civilian. Do I have like anything here that I can turn into a Muppet? Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, I don't want to fist my move though. Oh, there's an extra Vanguard here. I guess I could like... Do you think I could like... Play pretend with like Mini-Me and Orshifant? Oh my god! I love you so much! Uh, well met. I love thee too. You want a kiss? Yes. <laughs> and then they lived happily ever after. Right? Right? <laughs> well met. <laughs> ah! Emphasis on lived? Shut the fuck up. Take that back. Take that back. Okay, now I'm getting warm. I have to take this off. It is canon. It is. Pepper and Orshifon live happily ever after. Nothing bad ever happens to him. Okay? And don't let Yoshi P tell you otherwise, chat. Alright? They're gonna live happily ever after till death to... The part. Mm. Mm. I can't even. I can't even finish that sentence without like getting really sad. <laughs> they fisted happily ever after. Exactly. All right. Now, chat. Are we ready? Is it time to bring out the ears? Do I even have my my hairpin here? Where are my hairpins? Oh, they're right there. Thank you, casual knowledge. Yeah, let's get some nodders in the chat. Let's get some nodders in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelsey's not very excited for MSQ. Maybe we stall some more. <laughs> Sailor Moon transformation. Okay. All right. Let's get these bad boys on. Wup up up up. Wup up up boo. Beep up up ba. Ba ba bazoo. Furry mode. Yeah, furry mode is being activated. Do you have a cheap, unhealthy Indian place you recommend in Toronto? A cheap Indian place? 
Oh, my Dosa place is really good. It's nasty. That's the one. My Dosa place is, is what I ordered from that night that I like shat my pants and the game kicked me out of the instance. Y'all remember that? Stall for long enough that I might actually make it in game? You fucking better. Miko Supremacy? Yes! Miko Supremacy, that's what I'm saying. <gasps> Mr. Happy! Wait, Mr. Happy, you don't have a VIP in here. Let me fix that. Mr. Happy, hello! How are you? Welcome back to my stream. It's MSQ time. We're getting all pepperfied. That's because I'm not important? True. But it's okay. I'll make you feel important. I got you. Hold on. You eat dosas? Bro, I'm Caribbean. Of course I do. Do I need to be good at the game now? No. No. You just have to be better than Ponto and that's not hard to, to compete with. Okay, let me let me fix this bow. My hair is like not. I don't know what is going. It looks like I have a bump it on. Come on, I just want to get the peepo bow. The peepo. I have Pathfinder tonight, but I'll come hang for MSQ for still on. Hell yeah, dude. My, hold on. I have to redo all of this chat. We are stalling. We are stalling because your girl cannot put on a bow because her hair is ugly. Okay. Oh. But it's okay, L. I'm not even good at the game, okay? I'm bad and people still cheer me on, okay? So don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, wait. The hair isn't ugly, you take that back? No, it looks like poo poo. <gasps> I got my bow. Chat, I got my bow on. Vlad, what the fuck? You're abandoning my stream to watch a DJ? Are you a groupie? Are you doing the wipeout shit? No, we're doing MSQ, which is main story quest line so we're gonna be crying a lot and mocking rabbits and the british which honestly are the same oi bruv oi bruv i'll take a shot every time you cry nikki 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 chat can we please can we please tell nikki that that is not a fucking good idea can we please tell Nikki that that is definitely not a good idea? She has no idea what she's getting into here. Nikki, you will die. I give her 20 minutes before she gives up. All right. All right, chatteroons. Are we ready? What if I got wine and took a sip every time you cry though? I think that would like be okay. All right. Oh my God, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm, oh, I'm nervous. Okay, where did I, where are we going? Where are we going? Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going. Let's see. Well, I know when I loaded in here, I saw another ether current. So I want to try finding that again. It was like right around here somewhere. I saw one somewhere. So I want to get that very quickly. Ambient is loud. just ate the rabbits carrots they gave us carrots and we ate them 
And then they made me put on a really ugly outfit. And we all looked really bad in it. Playful Lopperit? Game audio is a touch too loud. How's this? Is this better? Oh wait, I need to log in and get you to seat to seat on the new mount because I got it. It's very funny. Is it the um the Fall Guys mount? I haven't even seen it yet. Fuck, I swear to god, I found an ether current. It's gone now. I swear there was one over here somewhere. I swear. I swear I saw- There it is. It just wasn't fucking loading. Wait, how do I get up there? I can't even get up there! Oh, am I gonna have to jump down from over there? Probably. Thank you, Zara! I appreciate it! Thank you, thank you! Yeah, this mount is very, very cute. So I just discovered that you can now in-game turn on uh, the job icons. Which is really cool, so now everyone can see me stunting around on my little... With my little, uh, Dark Knight stuff. <laughs> Whee! Nice. Nice. Yeah, so we're at- we're at Alls Vale that ends Vale. I don't know what the fuck is coming up. Um, we're trying to help the lo the Loperates create a habitable place for, uh, the people of Eorzea so they can escape, I think? Something like that? It'll all come back to me once we uh, start diving back into the MSQ. Y'all know how I am. Takes me a second, but once we uh, once we get back into it, I'll, uh, it will be okay. It'll be okay. So we gotta go this way. Mm. Go my fart cloud. Thank you, Apollo. Thank you. Apollo decided my stupid ass thought the bean was in Toronto. Hey, it's okay, bro. I thought your tweet was funny. I thought your tweet was funny. I was like, there's no way. Oh, am I going the right way? Oh, um, is this wrong? Is this wrong? Um, where, do I climb up here? Oh, where am I going? Do I go down? Is it down here? I am so confused. Am I in the wrong place? Do I have to loop around somewhere? I'm lost. Oh, wait. Do I go all the way up here and then loop around this way? Maybe? Okay, let's see. Let's see if I'm a genius or not. Hello, Anna. Oh my fucking god. Is this the new mount? Is this the Fall Guys mount? Oh. I need it. I fucking need it. It's so good. It's so good. I got the, um, I got the bean. I have a bean now. Y'all wanna see my pink bean? Where's my bean? Oi! Look, 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 look. <laughs> look at him! Ah! I guess you could say I fell, guys. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I got to do that all over again. Boo, tomato, tomato. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's what we should get. We should get a tomato emote. So y'all can throw tomatoes at me. 
Oh my god, that was embarrassing. Okay, but do I actually go this way? Do you guys like my Burger King crown? That's not my Burger King crown. I... that's the pussy. Do you like my crown? This angle, oh my god. Do you guys like my crown? Please. Please. I'm trying to show them the crown! We got it last night. It's so fucking good. It's amazing. Pepper is a queen. I played a bit of the uh, the Fall Guys stuff today, and you're not gonna believe this chat. I queued into a game, and I was the only one in it. So I beat every round, and so I won. So the only time I've ever beat Fall Guys in this game was because I was going solo dolo. <laughs> okay, I think. Oh, I think I got it. Chat, I'm so good at this game. I'm so fucking good at this game. I'm actually like a professional at Final Fantasy XIV. <clears throat> Hashtag perfectly cut screams. And tomato like raised fanfic. Oh, you already know. Yo, light light skin gamer Twitch. Nice username, bro. Those suckers don't get as much of a reward. Yeah, but like you still get a reward, which is like what's important to me. You know? As long as I get something, I'm happy. <gasps> Hello, growing way. Wait, I gotta bring back my boy. Where is my boy? My lad. My coochie boochie gucci. Coochie poochie poochie. All's veil that ends veil. Growing way is keen to put his recent mishap behind him. It may not seem like it, but we've been planning for this far longer than I care to admit. Each time we woke up, we'd have long discussions about how to save as many of you as we can. But like everyone had an opinion on this or that. But the one thing we all agreed upon was that the people of Etheris wouldn't take action to save themselves until it was far too late. That's why we're striving to make the moon a vibrant, magical place they'd hop at the chance to visit, rather than waiting for the flames of oblivion to get them off the tails and force them to accept our invitation. The residential quarters may not be up to the necessary standards just yet, but there are plenty of other places worth seeing. You've already had a look around the Keratorium, but wait until you see what's waiting for you at the east of the borough. Follow me! Alrighty. We're running. Dude, look at Pepper's thighs! Look at her thighs, bro! She got the fucking thigh jiggle! She got the thigh squishies! Oh my god. We are so undeserving. Ah! One HP incoming. Oh! Alright, okay. Pepper, we love to see only at 10k. I'm not done a full game on OCE. What's OCE? Oh, like Oceana? It's always like nine people, so terrible awards for a very high latency. Oh, that actually blows. Look at my queen. Is this the outfit that she should be rocking during MSQ? It's cause you had the Orshiva minion. Now he protect Pepper. You're so right. You're so right. She's got thighs that say, treat me like a puppet. Can someone ban dentist? <laughs> Is this her new MSQ fit? What do y'all think? Do you think that, like, this outfit strikes fear into the hearts of her enemies? Like, it's kind of a sleigh. Look at that ass. Look at the, look at the fucking, look at the definition on the pussy. Do you see that? She has a seam and everything there. Okay, wait, where am I going? Hello, growing way. Could you hear? Through this door's greatest ends veil. It was named as such because it's the veil to, all, to end all veils. The most beautiful forest you'll ever see. We understand the people of the theorists enjoy taking leisurely walks through natural spaces and the like. So I'm sure you'll Hello. enjoy it. Also, gingerly love developers. Gingerly love developers. <laughs> Nano, thank you for the five month resub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome back to the Covenant of your Badger Boats and your estate. Thank you. Pepper goes in battle backwards to distract her foes, as she should. As she should. Pepper knows the strat, okay. How about we start with a nice stroll to the fountain? This way. Oh, I'm excited. Is it gonna be pretty? We 
just keep going this way, I guess. I guess so. This music feels like a Disney overture. Do you know what I mean? More gay crystals! Stop it or love. Zap Durple, thank you for the four month resub. Hello, hello, welcome back to the coven. Oh my god, I hope you enjoy about your most in your stay. Are those egg trees? Those are fucking egg trees. Oh. This is actually cute. I feel like I just walked into like a Hallmark, a Hallmarks card. Oh, I should probably swap to another class so I can get some of that XP, huh? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. No matter what class we play, we cannot escape the bo Wait, they're fighting me? The there's fighting me? Yo, the battle music though. Why are they trying to scrap with me, bro? Okay, if they're gonna try fighting, I'm going back to Dark Knight. We're we're keeping the we're keeping the pussy out. Okay. I'm set up, ready to cry, and sushi. Fuck yeah. Oh my god, the pussy is wet. Nikki, what's it gonna take for you to to play the MSQ in Final Fantasy XIV? Chat, how do we convince Nikki to get through the MSQ? And Vlad. Let's hear it, chat. Show hot men slash women? Wait. Nikki. I have one woman to show you. Just one. Mommy. 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 Moon Brita? Oh my god. She can Moon Brita me. Rita is mother, is also mother. I love her. I fuck. I fucking love Wood Brita. Show her Hilda. Hilda is also is also really fucking hot. I want more Hilda in the game. When she popped up, I was truly smitten. I was so thrown off at first. I was like, damn. Start barking. Start barking, because Hilda deserves it. She's half Elizabeth, half Cure. Like, slay. Slay. Look at this woman! Ow! <laughs> the women in this game, honestly, are so sexy and so badass, which is what I love as well. Like even the even the femme characters that are like more on the maternal side, they are still incredibly powerful. You know, I do think that Lise is the weakest of them all in terms of like her the beginning of her her narrative, but still still 10 out of 10. 
I love femme cares and I have mommy issues. Oh, then this game will fuck you up. Then this game will fuck you up. Well, I don't know if Lise will do anything for her. Let's see. Okay, let's show let's show her Lise. Oh, I love Lise in this fucking trailer. And then let's show her Ice Heart. I actually Ice Heart might fuck her up. Ice Heart fucks me up. Actually, no, I'm not even gonna show her Ice Heart. I'm gonna show her Shiva. This bitch actually steps on you in game, Nikki. She literally. Shiva Baby is a fucking good. Or Shiva Baby is a really good movie. But. Shiva literally steps on you in game. It's like part of her. Part of her, um, her battle. She dances around you and then steps on somebody. Oh my god, Lena! Lena's a good one too. This is Lise. This is Lise from the trailer. Hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. Oh my god, but what about Yugiri? Oh my god, okay, hold on. We'll show her Yugiri and we'll show her Lena and that's it. Then we'll have to get back to the game. God, I love her. I love her. I love her. Here, I'll show you this art of her. Okay, but wait. Yugiri. Oh my god, Yugiri, my beloved. Okay, so this is Lena. We love Lena. We love Lena. I would do anything for Lena. I want to, like, ruffle her hair so fucking badly. How can one game contain so many hot women? I don't know. I literally don't know. Yeah, this art piece is gorgeous. Just look up Lena FFXIV on Twitter or on Google and it'll pop up. And this is Yugiri. I like, look at this woman. Look at this little dragon woman. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Yugiri is badass as fuck too. She's badass and gentle and has like a bite. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. Sadu. Oh my god. Every time I, I think of Sadu, I think of Gain. Gain, Sadu is your baby. That Lena going to be my new wallpaper? You're welcome. It's beautiful. Sad, dude. <laughs> Sad, dude. Yeah. I, I fucking love you, Goody. Ugh. Ugh. Chat, I kind of want Popeyes, but I'll shit. Do I get Popeyes? Do I do it even though we all know I'm gonna poo poo pee pee? I'm gonna pee pee poo poo? Poo poo caca? Okay. Hold on, let's go talk to Growing Way. Dude, my. The cable for my controller is so bugged. Oh my god, oh my god. I need to get a new one. It's like. It's like completely broken now. My light doesn't even turn on now. Like, oh my god. You, look, look at that. It's so bad. So, what do you think of the forest? Isn't it positively pleasant? Simply sublime. I mean, like, it's cute, but you need actual trees. I couldn't see the forest or the trees. I didn't see any... Wait, you don't mean those crystals out there are. Tis as transcendent as burying your face in a chocobo's plumage and taking a good long whiff. What? What? Embrace the poo poo pee pee? I will embrace the poo poo pee pee. Meow, 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 meow. You're pulling my tail. You're in the forest right now. Ro, 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 Thank you for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Building this place was a challenge, let me tell you. Since we were born here, we've never seen trees in person before, let alone a forest. The information sent by our collaborators was quite enlightening, but after much deliberation, we decided to use crystalline constructs in place of living trees. And thanks to our atmospherical circulation system, this place produced air as clean as that you find in a forest on a theorist. The fountain here behind us, powered by the rather large crystal... Ooh. Hello, Oishi. Adorning its top, 
plays a vital role in supplying us with fresh water. Much time and effort was spent making it the most spherical of spheres, and I dare say the unparalleled roundness speaks for itself. I enjoy nothing more than a nice long stretch and a spot of relaxation whenever I come up here. You look like you do with a stretch yourself. Do a nice big stretch in your growing way. Yo, chat. Hold on. Let me give him the view. Let me, let me just like real quick. Let me just. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, did I have to click on him and do that? I probably did. <laughs> oh! Oh, he getting the pussy! That's the spirit. I feel more relaxed simply watching you. I guess you could say he grew some way. Listen, we all know I'm a furry, okay? Don't act surprised! Don't act surprised! A sight more than... A sight worth the many years spent building this place. Um, growing way? Are you complimenting the pussy In front of chat? Have you no shame? Have you no shame? Hello, Heidelin. Yeah, I want to report crimes against one of your bunnies. <laughs> yeah, one of your fucking rabbits got a big whiff of the pussy, and he won't shut up about it. If it's not too much to ask, it's always been a dream of mine to take a walk through the forest with someone from Etheris. Could we maybe? Yo, the pussy got this man fucked up. This man? He is down bad now. Now he wants to go on a date with her. Oh my god. Got him acting up. He just wants another view of that ass. Speak with Growing Way and have him accompany you. <gasps> you will? Oh, be still, my quivering whiskers. <laughs> All right, Growing Way is now accompanying you. Keep him at your side in order to pursue your quest objectives. All right. Well, let's let's go. Let's go. Oh, he is, he is getting a good fucking view. Let me tell you. Oh, that, oh, he's enjoying that view. Oh, I know he is. Mm -mm -mm. All right, what's going on here? Yo, Mist, hello, hello. Welcome back in. I was thinking, Peppa, that I could be more helpful to you by teaching you a little about the moon and what it is we do. When we were first created, the moon's sole purpose was to hold Zodiac, and there was absolutely nothing to be found here. Eventually, Heidelin gave us our first task. Furnish the moon with propulsion systems capable of facilitating travel to other stars. It sounds impressive, and I suppose in some respects it is, but it was only possible thanks to all the knowledge Heidelin shared with us. We also had a lot of time to get it done. 6,000 years, give or take. But anyway, let's keep going. Damn, y'all all is fuck. There's a conversation piece thingy over here. Yes. Is that what this is? Yeah. Ask if you can taste the rainbow crystal. Oh my god. Lucky charms, eh? What? No. I'm not sure what it is you do with crystals on the theorist, but we don't eat them. Oh. Do you want to know what I do with crystals? Yo, you're asking the wrong Mikote. You're asking the wrong Mikote. This one puts them up her... This one likes to figure out if they glow in her stomach or not. Okay? <laughs> Look. This guy... This guy is asking all the wrong questions. All the wrong questions. <laughs> And certainly not this one. It's possessed of all six elements. Wind, lightning, fire, earth, ice, and water. We use crystals like these to maintain the moon's elemental equi equilibrium. It's worth mentioning, though, that because of Heidelin's influence, being the embodiment of tranquility and stasis and all, mani manipulating the elements here is different than it might 
be on a theorist. A conjuring of fire would sooner dry your clothes than singe them, for example. Put simply, the etheric conditions are ill-suited to growth, which is why the surface is mostly barren. Of course, this was all necessary to keep the raging energies of Zodiac in check. Interesting. Man, I actually forgot about that plot point with um, Asahi and Zodiac. Like, all that shit. That was wild. And I know that was the trial that we just did, too. Fuck. Hold on, chat. I'm already getting a headache. Can you fucking believe that? I'm gonna order some Popeyes, and hopefully that will make me feel better. I need, like, I need, like, a snack. You know, like, I need something in me. Do you do Shadowbringers Raid series? I did! I did! With Reen and... I almost said Reen and Gain. And Gaia? Well, I guess Reen and Gain's... Or Reen and Gaia's, like, ship name would be Gain. Do they have a ship name? What is their ship name? Wait, is it actually Gain? Is their ship name actually Gain? It's so early in the MSQ too, like I wasn't expecting to fight Zodiac right off the bat. I know! I know, neither was I. That really caught me off guard. I remember that happening and I literally just sat here like awestruck. All right, are we gonna get the 12 piece nugget combo? Yes, we are. And we're gonna get it with the sweet heat sauce. And I'm gonna do buttermilk ranch this time. Or no, blackened ranch. I wanna try that. And then we're gonna get my mashed potatoes. Because a girl needs her potatoes. And then. Do I get a bottle of smart water? Or a bottle of Sprite? Or a bottle of Coke? Black and Ranch top tier. See, Sweet Heat for me is top tier. I fuck with that so hard. Oh my god, what just happened? Stamp controller. Water? 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 Seems like water's in the lead. I'm tempted to get a Coke, but all right, we'll do some, some smart water, some high IQ water. For the horrible shit you're gonna have tonight. <sighs> Dentist! Thank you for the $40 dono. Thank you for paying for my poop. Paying for my poop? Yeah, thank you for paying for my poop. Oh my god, Momo O'Brien! <laughs> Hello, hello. Thank you for the raid. One second. I'll greet you in just a moment. I'm just ordering some Popeyes. Hello, hello. Welcome. I know. What a fucking time to raid me. What a time to raid me. Hello, friends. I am Syra. I am a Final Fantasy XIV streamer, and we are currently getting through more of Endwalker. My head is honestly killing me. I have a headache coming on. So I don't know like how well the stream is gonna go. I'm gonna take off my headset for a little bit. I'm wondering if like the cat ears, um, or like, th like this, like I wonder if like those being tugged on my hair is like what's hurting me. But yeah, I'm gonna take these off for a little bit. Are you getting sick? I am sick. How was your stream, Momo? What'd you guys get up to? Yeah, it could be. Cause the pins are in like pretty hard. Kenzo, hello! Hello, hello. This may come as a surprise. We didn't begin building the habitable areas until after the propulsion systems were ready. Considering how long it took, I wish we'd start sooner. Who'd have thought we need 4,000 years to make all this? <coughs> oh my god, I'm dying. <coughs> we had to create infrastructure and countless supporting systems, some of which would be, wouldn't be operational until hundreds of years later. 
And then there was that brief period where our productivity came to a screeching halt when that bizarre red satellite was sent up from a theorist. The Algans mischief, I think. Bizarre red satellite? Is that the moon that they were talking about? Bizarre, uh, I'm, uh, give me some hot chocolate chat. Yeah, Dalima, that's, that, yeah, 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 okay, so I'm right. That's what I meant, that's what I fucking meant. The stream is already an hour and 30, I know! I know, time is whizzing by, and I'm okay with this. We played Baldur's Gate? Nice. I haven't touched Baldur's Gate in a hot fucking minute. Hi, Sire. Did you know that Loprits can't reproduce in canon? Because there's no fucking way? That was fucking good. That was fucking good. That was a really good one, Mystic. Hello, Crystal Kiwi. Hello, hello. Hello, Frost. Kvolt Frost, who is this amazingly awesome angel. It's Sweet Sire. Good evening, my lady. Hello, how are you? How you doing? I'm gonna put this back on and hope for the best. All right, chat. Keep me in your prayers. Because my head is is ouch and pretty fucking bad. We thought maybe some new nefarious actor was colluding with Zodiac. All we could do was send by and brace ourselves for the worst. I can't tell you how <laughs> I can't tell you how relieved we were when Heidelin informed us of its destruction. Oh yes, there was much joyous humming that day. I love that for you. I truly do. All right, come on, growing way. Just follow my butt. Follow the sweet sound of my cheeks fucking clapping. Say, do you notice anything peculiar about the treetops? I mean, apart from the fact that they're massive crystals and not trees. Yeah, they're eggs. I'll give you a hint. It's the golden rings emanating from the glowing spheres. Oh. I did not actually notice that. It's like piss dust. Along with the, the device fixed near the ceiling, they fulfill a role similar to our sun. And do so better, even. What? Those were like solar rays? The sun and similar celestial objects in the great expanse radiate energy that is harmful to your bodies. These rings shield you from the energy while allowing you to bathe in the perfect amount of sunlight. Or rather, a close approximation of it. Oh, wow! Pretty impressive, wouldn't you say? Oh, and if you look closely, you'll see different types of trees have ever so slightly different curvature. Yes, indeed, this forest truly is the greatest. That's really cool, actually. That's really neat. But you couldn't have just planted normal ass trees? I like trees, bro. I wanna, I'm a tree hugger. I wanna like touch some bark, you know? There's something else I want to tell you about. Oh, um, oh right. The propulsion systems and habitat facilities were completed around 2000 years ago. And with that, the most important features were fit for purpose, which was all well and good, except we still knew absolutely nothing about the present day people of the theorists. Why not go and visit the theorists yourself? You might ask. Strictly forbidden. Were our technology or knowledge of the moon's true purpose exploited for evil ends, the results could be disastrous. <gasps> Presently here! Thank you for gifting Hug the Trees a sub! I appreciate it! Thank you! And then there were a few more rejoinings, and it became increasingly difficult to converse with Hydaelyn. Pepper signed in the guest book like the forest was good, I like the piss dust, and Living Way's just like, what happened on that door? <laughs> I really like the piss dust. It was really nice. Good touch. Great for the ambiance. <laughs> Fearful we might lose the ability to communicate with her altogether, we beseeched her to find people on the theorists we could trust to help. One second, chat. I'm just checking my order. Making sure it went through. Alright, we're good. We were quite fortunate everything worked out as it did. Oh my god, we're still going on a tour? This is the fifth location. Alright, let's go, let's go. What are you gonna, are you gonna tell me about these towers or something? 
<gasps> Cutscene! With the exception of routine inspections and maintenance, we remained asleep and waited. Hopeful Hydaelyn would find someone who would help us. Eventually she did, and though her power was waning, we were able to speak to them directly for a short while. Is this Kryle they're talking about? Minfilia? Kryle? I don't know. We shared with them everything we could, including our knowledge of the heavens and a means to travel here to the moon. They certainly didn't waste any time with what we taught them. No more than a few years after that, our collaborators found a means to convey messages and supplies to us from down below. With all the letters, books, and other resources they sent, we learned enough to start making more meaningful changes to the moon. And now you're here, hopefully enjoying yourself as much as I am. Mm. I knew you would like the Greater Sense Veil, I knew it! Thank you again for coming here, by the way. I know it was just a walk through the forest, but it meant a lot to me. <gasps> Mother! There you are. I take it you've already received the Grand Tour? A shame we missed it. Growing way! I've been looking all over for you! Who's this? Oh! Is that Living Way? Is that the other one? Oh! I, uh... Is this about the teleporters in a residential area? No, never mind that. We have more pressing matters at hand. I will be calling an emergency meeting shortly and your attendance is required. What? Really? I can't imagine why you need me there, but if you insist. Emergency? We won't be long, so you all are more than so you all are more than welcome to continue looking about the burrow. Now, come along, growing way. Damn. Before we arrived, you seemed to be in the midst of a rousing conversation with your guide. Did you learn anything of import? They've spent 12,000 years preparing for this. With the appointed hour fast approaching, I can certainly understand their restlessness. But still... It remains to be seen if the people can be persuaded to evacuate when there are yet no signs of the final days. What's more, the technology of this place defies imagination. I doubt there are many who would readily come to terms with living in such surroundings. Whoever these collaborators are, unless they are possessed of the world's most charming personalities or a means to forcibly evacuate people, they will meet with a great deal of resistance. Indeed. Even if faced with annihilation, the decision to forsake all one knows cannot be made lightly. Yo, someone named Blessing is dropping off my food. We're blessed. We're in good hands, chat. Forgive me, my friends, but I must beg your leave. There's another matter which yet begs for mine attention. Of course, we can accompany you if you like. Oh, that came out weird. No, that will be un that will not be necessary. If you will excuse me. I know he was like chit chatting with the Loperets, and it's got me concerned. I remember that happening. They all like surrounded him and then we got interrupted by another bunny i think it was by another bunny and so i have no idea what the context there is it is clear that it is clear now that difficult decisions lie ahead of us preparation for the evacuation of a theorist is indeed crucial but i am not yet willing to forsake our world and its reflections and i trust i'm not alone in my reticence reticence <laughs> Oh, wait, what do you mean back to old tricks? Wait, whoa, what do you mean by back to old tricks? What do you mean by that? I remember the, the shenanery in A Realm Reborn. Wait, what do you mean by this? What do you, mm, I'm nervous. Whenever there's like a picture here, also we got question mark, question mark, question mark. Yeah, yeah, I'm scared. I think my Popeyes is almost here. So we're gonna give it a second so I can grab my chicken and then sit back and enjoy whatever hell is about to be unleashed upon me. I'm scared. Popeyes! Yeah, my Popeyes. I don't know if he's coming up yet. But he should be here any second. I heard Waldo move around. 
I'm assuming... I'm assuming that Luis is already here. Let me check. Let me check chat. Oh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Back to old tricks. Like... No, but this has to be a good thing. But also, look at that background. Is that outside? Some shit's about to go down. Because I don't remember... I mean, I don't really remember outside looking like that. It was more blue. I don't know. I've got my poop eyes. I'm gonna pull out my poop eyes. We're pulling out, chat. We're pulling out. We're gonna kick back and we're gonna run around and we're gonna scream and we're gonna cry and we're gonna yell and we're gonna poop. Yo, they gave me two sweet heat and one blackened ranch. They gave me extra. Yo. Show it to the class. Yo, I got you. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Please give me a cutscene. I want to kick back. Give me a cutscene. Did Riyajay seem strange to you? More so than usual, I mean. I know he has a penchant for keeping his own counsel, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. Would you go and see if he's alright? Stola and I will remain here and see what else we can learn about the final days. If you hurry, perhaps you can catch up to him. Okay. I got you, thank Chrissy. Let me just... Let me just open this first. Okay. Alright, y'all ready, chat? to the best ways burrow and then we'll hop down to him mm -hmm. we are popping eyes and we are pooping did you see that the black and ranch just squirted all over me holy shit did y'all see that did you see it splatter on me it's in my hair do you see that damn First growing way, now Popeyes? Y'all gotta chill. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna say something weird. Black and Ranch and Popeyes taste like sweaty balls. a sweaty ball flavor to it. I'm not saying it's bad. It's like extra flavor, you know what I mean? But definitely not what I expected. This doesn't look like it's gonna be voice acted, but what's going on? Oh, they found him. Okay, where's he going? Where's he going? Hmm. Riyanjay appears to be heading towards the entrance to Best Ways Burrow. Alright, let's go stalk him. Bogo's Vinted? What does Bogo's Vinted mean? I 
have like 11 days off school coming up, I will download and grab this game for real. And we will be right there with you. What does Bogo's Binted mean? What's a Bogo's Bint? I don't know what that means, chat! I'll send it to you? Wait, I'm scared. What is this gonna be? <laughs> jot. Oh my god, you're so jot. Buy one, get one free, sussy vintage. What? I'm so confused. Nikki, where are you sending this? That's gonna be my new tick. That's gonna be my new fucking tick. Bogus Binted. Mmm, Bogus Binted. Oh, here we go. There's Argos. Wait. Wait. Oh! I completely missed the, the surveil spot. Good night, Vin! Take care! Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Tell me he can't see me down here. Riange ventures off into Mare Lamentorum for reasons unknown. You must tread carefully, else he might sense your presence. Yo, we're going on a stealth mission now. They sent me to do this when when Thankard is more equipped for stealth. Mm. Mm. Oh god, there's another stealth mission. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I am not good at these. You know, I remember when it took me like what? An hour? 30 minutes or some shit? To do the first one? Okay. Is he gonna turn around? Am I gonna keep. Oh. What's up? I'm glad I can see like the direction he's walking in, I guess. Gangsters, what's up guys? Everyone quiet, it is sneaking time. Shh. Dentist, thank you for the hundred biddies. Oh, he's running. Yeah, I definitely don't enjoy doing these. I can see, like, the appeal. I can see why they would make us do them. But... Oh, shit. But they're very frustrating. And I feel like there's so many other, like... I don't know, there's so many other ways you could do a stealth mission. I don't know, also just give us a cutscene instead, maybe? You know? I just woke up from such a fat nap and slept through my date. Oh my god, you slept through it?! Wait, so y'all said this is the most annoying one, yet I completed it on my first try? Y'all are bad. I'm OP. I'm the better gamer. Wait, shit. It's about to get real. Dude, look at my ass. 
Thine arrival is timely as ever. Uh, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What is that supposed to mean? Huh? Huh? Hello. Oh boy, I forgot to change my Bobbit's outfit. I'm in my stupid crowd. Hear my conversation with Living Way, I presume. Mm-hmm. It was not mine intent fall to move in the shadow. fucking moon. Nevertheless, I have been asked to do that and more yet again. And more. You know, he's an astrologian. So I'm sure he could be super handy these strangers could moon. intuit it at a glance. My capacity for silence and secrecy. And duplicity. <gasps> Drama. And Grahatia did contrive to deliver the first at the price of his own life. I was complicit in the scheme. A sacrifice averted for a mercy. Would that I could say the same for Minfilia. One life for one world. And by that bloody bargain brokered by my hand were the scions robbed of a dear comrade and Flamine, her beloved daughter. Two souls whose selflessness was beyond measure, whose resolve was unshakable. They would not be moved even had I thought to protest. But protest I did not. Far from it. I pushed them forward. No effort did I make to seek out alternatives. Ones that would not demand such terrible costs. <laughs> that resignation weighs heavy on my mind. As does the memory of another lost to mine inaction. <laughs> Dearest Moonbrither, who did face death unflinching that we might secure a means to bring low the Asians. <laughs> In her hour of need, I did naught. Dutiful disciple of Louisois, ever looking to the greater good. Oh. Had I shut mine eyes and bid her live instead, <gasps> mayhap she would be with us today. Selfish wants born of everlasting regrets. Most days I put them from my mind, but could think of naught else when asked to swallow the same bitter draught. Subterfuge and sacrifice. Mayhap the right moral choice, but one I regard with great trepidation. The calamity of Amorot was a tragedy beyond reckoning. One which must never again come to pass. I agree, bro. Thus must we struggle. Haunted by ghosts of those we have lost. Clinging to those we pray we can yet save. <laughs> but what of those we cannot? How do we make peace with the dreadful algebra of necessity? Um, oh, fuck, let me update the uh, cry counter real quick. I didn't think that would get me. I didn't think that would get me at all. <laughs> Sometimes there's no right answer. Have faith in yourself and your decisions. Take and protect well those you can. Would that we had time to weigh the costs. Oh, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I'm out here on the moon with my stupid Burger King crown. And this man is lamenting about those we've lost. Y'all said number two. I feel like number two is a good one, too. <sighs> Sage counsel, indeed.
I see. Wisdom as befits a great worm. Curious that he should think thee in need of such encouragement. Strange. Scarcely can I remember when last we spoke alone, and so candidly. Me too. Has it been a while, bro? Oh, I smile. I thank thee. For all my supposed skill with words, I find it difficult to express such private thoughts. As for the Loperitz proposition, I will take time and consider how to respond. I thought I was gonna have It would to be to our up. mutual benefit Sorry, if we could converse more like, openly with our aspiring caretakers. A concern I should be glad Get to address over. on the Scion's behalf. To dispense with all pretense and bear one's heart to another is a frightening thing indeed. But we cannot move forward ere we take that bold first step. A lesson I have learned many times before. And today. Damn Shakespeare, that's deep as fuck! <laughs> Who's watching me? Who's watching us? <gasps> the bunnies! What are they saying? Curse these ears of her bow! No matter. We've got our plans. They've got their plans, yeah. What are they scheming? What are they scheming? Whoa, what is that? Whoa, chat, what is that? Daphne, oh my god. Daphnea? Whoa, it's so cool! I'm gonna kill it. That is such a cool enemy! So the Loperates are like on our side, right? Like 100% on our side? I'm nervous. I'm nervous because I feel like they they set I feel like they're setting us up for something here. Something bad is gonna is gonna happen, and I'm scared. I don't wanna I don't wanna trust Yoshi P. I can't trust Yoshi P. He has hurt me far too many times. He just hurt me. I literally just cried over that conversation with Uriange. Like, there is no hope for me in this game. In truth, my reason for traveling hither was to effect a plan of mine own. A plan which may pave a way forward for us all. May, I say, for there is no guarantee of success. Tis the reason I set out alone, that failure should have come would be mine to bear alone. If thou standest before me with proffered prof hand and open heart, would be remiss of me to refuse thy amity. And so I ask, wouldst thou join me in mine endeavor? I, yeah. I come. Setting things straight? That's kind of homophobic. Fergian footgear? What is the Fergian footgear? Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. Am I dumb? Is it in here? Oh, you're hideous. Okay. Terrible idea. When she cry, I get more high. Oh, that is a bad idea. Y'all are gonna be so scratched. I took two shots because that was a long cry. I'm sorry. Yeah, when I cry in this game, it's never just like a sniffle. Like, I I cry. This game fucks me up. That's why when you said you were gonna do shots for me crying, I like, I told you it's not a good idea. Thank you, Dre. Hello, hello. That's true, Sardix, but Yoshi P has to green light everything. Jay is quite glad for your company. Oh, I thank thee for accompanying me. 
Tis a simple plan, in truth. We shall not be long away from Bestway's borough. Difficult decisions must needs be made in, this, in the coming days, but I nevertheless believe we are all of one mind in our desire to save the people of Atheris. To make clear our resolve to Loperis, I would offer them a gift. But its making doth require a most singular ingredient. What? What is this man gonna make me kill? He's gonna make me kill something. He's gonna put me to work. I think there were, there was two or three scenes that made me shed a tear. Only two or three? Man. Okay, but see, that's the thing with this game though. See, oh, fit check before the next uh, cutscene. We'll do it later. Um, but see, that's the thing with this game. Yo, look at the pussy definition. God damn. But anyway, um, whether you've cried once or a hundred times, this game is capable of making grown men cry. I think I only know one person that didn't cry playing this game, and at most they got very emotional, and that's because they're like not normal. They're really weird. Um, but <laughs> yeah, this game has made pretty much every single person that I know cry. So it's like it's to be expected, you know? That's how good the storytelling is. And like, even if like, even if you're not crying, you still feel some type of way. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's emotional as fuck. Some got me really emotional. Yeah, look, even if you didn't cry, you still feel the game. Like you still feel it, you know? And I think that's beautiful. I think that's what makes me like, that's what makes me love this game too because like I see the impact that it's had on all of its like beloved players and like it's invigorating you know oh my god are we gonna be are we gonna be playing again is are we gonna have the Nikki Vlad and Drew grind off stream also hey Drew happy birthday Happy birthday to you. Chat, sing with me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pharaoh Overwatch. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Pharaoh. Wait, did you turn 30 today? Or did you just hit 30? Or is that not coming up yet? If you say an age younger than me, I'm gonna be upset. Excuse me, I am 31. 30 is young. Yeah, no, 30 is a sexy age. Literally, like, literally, I cannot wait to hit my 30s. And the reason I say this is because I know so many people who are, like, glowing in their 30s and 40s. They get out of the, like, nauseating 20s because it's all a headache. It's all a fucking headache. And... They just glow. You're an adult. You 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 went through hell. You already went through the bullshit that the 20s gives you. You know? I can't wait. I really am the young one here. You're definitely not the youngest. We have a rule, um, and it's no age talk. Um, but like it's more so along the lines of like this stream is 18 plus, you have to be 18 or older to be in here. So like, don't, if you're a minor, you should leave, but also do not say your age because I do, I'm not, like, I don't know who's lurking. I don't know what weirdos are lurking in my stream. And I don't want any weirdo preying on someone who's a minor, you know? 
So if you're an, if you're an adult, you can talk about your age. I don't give a fuck. Obviously. But yeah, like if you're yeah, it's for safety reasons because I I there's nothing really I can do apart from banning you. You know. Fondness and fishers only. <laughs> Loving ways, darlings. Loving ways, darlings? Oh wait, I'm obsessed. What is this? I've known people who got 10 bands for joking that they were 18. Okay, also, I don't think any of that is funny. I hate it when people joke about about their age. I mean like the ones where it's like like I'm 12, shut the fuck up, those kind of make me giggle, but like don't do it. You know what I mean? Like, don't do it. I was like, I'm literally 12, what do you mean? Those kind of make me laugh, but like, context is important, you know? Like in real life, my mom and I, we she makes jokes about me because I can't drive and I can't cook. So she's like, um, what are you doing? Like, are you even an adult? It's like, no mom, I'm baby. <laughs> I'm just a girl, you know? Can't drive and cook yet. True. Yet. Keyword. Yet. Yet. Hear that chat? Yet. We're getting there. Girl dinner. Ah, an abundance of spongoy. Spongoy. Spongy. Sponge. Excellent. I chance to spy this aggregation when crossing Zodiac's erstwhile well, prison. Oh, chat. My throat is all gunky. My throat is all gunky. <laughs> I got all these boogers in my throat. I'm about to turn into Kermit while we chat. No, I am not eating. I'm not eating Drew. Even though Drew was girl dinner for Halloween, I will not eat him. Yeah, man, I got that gunky throat. You like that? You like my gunk? Chat, do you like my gunk? Say it. Say it. Say yes, Syrah, I like your gunk. I'm waiting. Y'all passed the vibe check because y'all said Gangsters, no. What's <laughs> up, guys? I like your gunk, Syra. Not dentist saying it with the money. I'm tier three. I suppose I'm here for the content. I suppose so. Stand your ground, dentist. Stand your ground. Wait, Nissan, how am I only now just clocking that you're in here? I've been reading all your messages and I'm like, yeah, Nissan, Nissan. But now I'm like, wait, Nissan. Hey, Nissan. <laughs> Two years old mom, are you proud of me? This community is one of the best I've been a part of, Sarah Love. Cassie, thank you for the two-year resub. Hello, hello. How are you doing, Cassie? Is Lux Nissan? Yes. Luxury SUV is Nissan. I'm good. I'm lurking while I work on slides because I have a board of directors retreat tomorrow. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Bro, you and your and your big person job. I don't know how you fucking do it. But kudos. Godspeed. I'm doing good. How's the Edwalker MSQ going? Well, it already made me cry. Gangsters, so. what's up, guys? Thank you for the 100 biddies, Nano. Thank you all for the love today. I really appreciate it. Like, honestly, y'all have been so sweet and so stinky, like, over the last few streams. And I feel so fucking blessed. Like, I am truly so blessed 
to have a community that like not only supports me but supports each other and i'm i'm just i'm eternally grateful i truly truly am i've been streaming for like seven years or no i've been streaming for six years and i've been partnered for three and it's just unreal it's just unreal to me that we're standing this this fucking strong black smoke thank you so much thank you for the partner love i appreciate it this sounds about right it's an amazing story it is it's a very very good story it's a very good story and it's fucking me in the ass raw with no lube Sorry, you're the best guy, and I'm gonna kiss you. Oh my god, not dentist redeeming nothing. We are 15 subs away from 420, by the way. Who's gonna hit that 420 mark? Six years? I know. I have been a content creator for longer than that, but I've been an independent influencer for six years. Isn't that wild, chat? No, for real, your community is so fucking funny. I'm glad you think so. I'm glad you think so, Nikki. I'm glad you found like a little home that you can hang out in. I love my community so much. Like, we're all weird and we're all goofy, but like, we're chill as shit, you know? I'm off to obliterate my sobriety with tequila. Pop off. Alec! <laughs> Dentist! Thank you so much! For the collective 20 gifted subs! Can we get some hype in the chat? Thank you so, so much to everybody that got gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your stay. Thank you so, so, so much. Ken! Ken, thank you for the five gifted again! Thank you so much! Oh, I'm gonna cry! They really said AO430. Yo, if there's one thing that my chat is, it's hot and stupid. <laughs> Thank you so much! We're at a level four hype train now. Are we gonna hit a level fiver? Thank you so, so, so much. Thanks, y'all. I really appreciate it. Hey, Esley. Hi, Johnny. Happy partner anniversary. Thank you for the gift and sub. Enjoy your sub. Enjoy your hot chocolate. We're hot and stupid, yeah. I think that's like also what I love about this community. We're all like, we have a lot of intellectuals in the community, which is nice. Like if you need advice or anything, there's almost always somebody proficient in whatever it is you're seeking out, you know? But we're also so stupid. <laughs> like we're also so dumb. <laughs> it's a beautiful balance that I never thought I'd be able to create. But alas, here we are. Mahal! I'm happy 21 months, Tihi less than three. Tihi less than three! Thank you for the 21 month reset, Mahal! Welcome back to the Country Badge Months and your stay! I bring some useless skills. Who needs physics explained? Oh my god, Gain? You with the gold? It's known I'm dumb as hell. The Benoys do be, do be kind of silly. Do be kind of silly. We possess a collective one brain cell. Truly, you know what it feels like? If honestly, sometimes what it feels like is that we just like ping pong back and forth the brain cell, you know? Like when I walk around, my head sounds like a piggy bank with one coin in it. And I'm okay with that. I've accepted that. At least like I have a coin, you know? Sisterhood of the Traveling Brain <laughs> Syra Mahal just gifted me Final Fantasy XIV, so now I'm definitely gonna play it. Oh my god. You better make a character on Crystal Goblin and join our FC. That way we could all play with you and we can give you cute things and you can have a home. Let's put a roof over the head. Life is tough enough, so making fun of oneself and of life is a great relief. Honestly, yes. And doing it in a place where, like, people know the limits. 
you know? Make a, a character on Crystal Goblin? God, I'll add it to the notes. Do it. If you need assistance, we can all assist. If there's one thing, too, that this community is very good at, it's Final Fantasy XIV. Me, not so much, but everybody else, y'all appear to have your shit together. <laughs> to me by Numu. Oh, Numu, right? That was the, they were the, um, the dog thingies, right? Right. I believe these shall suffice for the gift I would fashion. Well, what is he trying to fashion? What is Uriange making? The magic requireth considerable concentration, however. Might I prevail upon thee to send watch whilst I perform the incantation? Oh, uh, Triss, are you gonna watch him do this thing too? Where am I, where am I standing watch? Oh, Uriange is fully absorbed in weaving his enchantment. Until his work is complete, he will need to be kept safe from harm. Wh where am I? Where are we watching him from? Oh, over here. I don't know. None of us can rack up those cry counter points quite like Sire can. Look, I'm baby. Okay? If there's one thing I'm good at, it's crying. Oh my god, dentist! Dentist! What the fuck? Kid, okay. An Irish came back too. That's how you know the community is good as fuck. Irish returned. Wait. Yo. Most people come to my stream for like a glimpse at my boobs jiggling, but the real ones are here to watch my, my arms jiggle. <laughs> Thank you, dentist. We are 20 seconds away from the level five hype track. Oh my god! Are you go! <laughs> oh my god, Mango! <laughs> Level six and I'm dying, yo. We trying to, we trying to get rid of Nikki tonight. Are we about to turn Nikki into dust? Thank you all so much for gifting subs. Like, I don't even, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Like, I feel, I feel spoiled. Like, I don't know, it's so weird. Like, I took a break from streaming for a month. For literally a month. And then I come back and y'all are like, I don't know, like. It's so fucking crazy. <laughs> It's so wild. It's so wild. <laughs> is this a cry? Yeah, maybe a little bit. This doesn't count. This is not a Final Fantasy fourteen cry. It doesn't count. No, it doesn't count. No, it doesn't cry. It doesn't count. No, it's not a Final Fantasy cry, so it doesn't count. <laughs> The game is running now! <laughs> Just because the game is on! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. We can't blame Yoshi P. True, true. We need a separate cry counter for dentist and the rest of you. <laughs> Like, seriously, thank you for gifting all the subs. I really appreciate it. Because, like, man, gifted subs, like, obviously don't even just, like, only affect me. But, you know, sometimes, like, there are people in the community who can't afford to, like, pay to, you know, get, like, 
cute emotes and stuff to like their favorite streamers every month because it's fucking expensive and so it's like you never know who's gonna get that gifted sub right like and it's like it's those little things that i think about that i'm just like like that probably really made someone's day you know Nice tits! Isaac! <laughs> We're out here crying! We're out here crying! And being emotional and Isaac just comes in and he's just like, nice tits! impermanence but sometimes I forget sorry is hot and then I get reminded it's great Deadpool thank you for the five gift what are you guys doing what are you guys doing oh my god you guys are actually on fire you guys are on fire oh my god Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Chat, can we get some hype in the chat for everybody real quick? Like, y'all gotta hype yourselves up real quick, okay? Because y'all are, y'all are doing the most, the most right now. And for what? <laughs> And for this stupid cat girl with boobs. <laughs> I have an MSQ to play. Kelsey has been harping on me to play this game. And now we're here just crying together. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kelsey. We're never finishing this fucking game. <laughs> This is just a Kelsey edging stream. Yo, ayo. Kelsey. I'm putting that, I'm putting that in the title now. <laughs> oh my God. Seriously though. Seriously though, like, thank you guys so much. Like, honestly, like, honestly. The support that y'all have given me, like, since I came back from, like, my big break has just been, like, out of this world. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm so, I'm so emotional. I was talking about it a little bit with Isaac earlier, actually, like, 
It feels like no time has passed since I started my break and like came back. Does that make sense? I always get so scared and it's a huge fear oh that God, I Irish's first day here. Homeboy? A homeboy took a nap? Literally just woke up? And was like, yo, this bitch crying? Let me shut her the fuck up. Let me just gift her 50 subs real quick. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like, I'm, I can't even cry now. I'm just like speechless. Iris has been here since 2022, but is a hardcore lurker. Yeah, they said today was their first day in chat. Like this was their first time like, like in chat. I'm like, wait, what did Isaac say? Feet stream coming soon? Bro, I got the toe beans right here. I got the toe beans right here. Chat, do you want the toes? Am I busting out the toes again? <laughs> They're below my desk. You just tell me when. <laughs> what if he means pepper toes? That's exactly what that, Yes, they're they're toe beans. They're toe beans guy. They're literally they're literally toe beans. They're technically pepper toe beans. Oh my god. No, seriously though, like... You know, like, content creators always get scared when they take breaks because when you take breaks from, you know, work like this, you see numbers drop. It's something that I talk about all the time. Numbers drop, people forget about you, people move on. And it's a huge, huge, huge fear that a lot of creators have. And I always know in my heart that, like, my community's got my back and, like, they understand that if I need to take a break, like they're not gonna hold it against me. But I still get scared. And so knowing that like, that like I just took like a month long break and I was able to come back and it's like no time passed. Like that's crazy. I took a month off, a month. Like not a week, not two weeks, a whole month. You stand toe to toe with any stream. I stand bean to bean. I got the beans lined up, bro. Oh my god, and we hit the sub goal of 500. Okay, well, we gotta do 555 again for Charlotte. If we hit the 555, I'll bust out the toes. Glad I came in at the perfect time to see Sire crying. I am always crying. Oh, fuck. Oh. I showed you my beans. Please respond. Oh, thank you, though, Isaac. Thanks, Glad. That's basically because you earn people's hearts by being yourself. Yeah, but that's like, that's like still like such a weird thing to like, to like think about, like, like the impact, like a little mini, like, like this little mini bean, like has on people. Like that's crazy, that's so crazy. Crying over Endwalker. The fuck y'all doing to me? 
If anything, I'm proud of you for recognizing me in the break and then made the decision to take it. I'm happy you make yourself priority. Thank you, Raptor. It's very difficult to do that, but I, I know I've been, like I said, I've been streaming for, for like a very, very long time. Um, I've been in content creation for a long time and I know that, you know, content burnout is a thing and I know how like my anxiety is and stuff, right? So i cannot perform if i don't feel good like i can't stream if i'm in a bad mood because like i'll snap at people or i'll snap at my stuff or my gameplay will like be bad do you know what i mean like i won't be able to have fun and give y'all like a show worth watching and i know that the argument there is oh well we'll watch it anyways and we'll have fun anyways like we understand and i know that but it would eat me up because I have anxiety and because I have OCD, like all these little things, like it would just tear me apart. So it's like, no, like I have to take those breaks so I can come back and like actually feel good, you know? Oh, fuck. Thanks, Foyinski. MSQ equals more Syracuto beans. Miko beans. Mikoto beans. It can be hard to accept slash, accept slash receive the love and how much he means people, but you do, Sai. <laughs> you matter. Thank you, Thank you. I do matter. I do. You bring a lot of joy to so many people. I try. I try my best. I don't really know what I'm doing like all the time, but I'm just, do I'm just doing my best. I'm just here for the boobas doy. <laughs> <clears throat> if what I do helps you to take me to breaks and remind you how wonderful, then I'm happy to be of service. You and like Alec and Irish and like everybody that like gifts like subs, y'all like pop off. And Pars too. Like whenever Pars comes in here and like you and him like like buy me a snack or something like all those little things you probably don't realize it because i never really like i don't make a big scene out of it but like it means a ton to me it's like wow like you just fed your streamer like i don't know it's like it's like i'm a little tamagotchi <laughs> you know it's the same thing when y'all do like the hydrations and the posture checks in chat i feel like a little tamagotchi but it's like it's those little things that like mean a lot you know i have to hop out but i love you chance i deserve all the support in the world thank you cassie without limits thank you for the prime sub honestly my last depressive episode you were one of the only people that could get me to bust out laughing until it hurt always meant a lot well, I'm glad I'm, I'm from one depressed person to another. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm really happy that I was able to to make you laugh through that and could like bring a little bit of like light, you know, into into your darkness. 50. 50. Yo, we got Irish with the 50 subs and we got Caleb with the 50 months. Caleb, thank you for the 50 month resub. Thank you. It's on 50 years. It's so cute. Caleb with the five gifted too. Caleb, thank you for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Thank you. You guys are so crazy. You guys are so crazy. Oh my God. I cannot catch a break from this. I even heard what I was saying. <laughs> the real snack was the friendships we made along the way. True. In honor of our Benui friends on the moon, I'm eating a carrot. Ooh, are you dipping it in like ranch or anything? I haven't cleaned Sire's room in 30 days. There's so much poop. I don't know what you mean by that, but cle please clean my room. <laughs> you're only... You're one of only a couple of streamers I actually put on my Google Calendar to be sure I'm there. Wait, you actually put me on your calendar? 
Bitch, we have been... I have been crying for so long that Pepper is now AFK. I'm on your calendar? That's... I am honored. You enjoy... I'm so honored. I'm so honored. Chad, I don't know what to say. I really, 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 I just, I don't know what to say. T minus 45 subs to a display of beans. <laughs> Isaac's got the priorities. Yo, Isaac, give me the money, bitch. Gift the subs, bitch. You want to see these beans? <laughs> We're 40 sub, 45 subs away from toe beans. <laughs> I look at the schedule and copy it to the calendar. Oh, you're so fucking sweet. Oh, you're so you're so sweet. I really don't know what to say, Chad. I'm I'm at such a loss for words. I really am. I don't I don't know what to say to y'all right now. Like I just want to cry. Hi, man! Thank you! Buffao7, thank you! <laughs> That's only 350 Canadian? Jump change. Sorry, I'm emotional as fuck writing this. I can't even read it. <laughs> <laughs> but you've literally been someone I've looked up for, uh, up to for nearly a decade. A n what do you mean, nearly a decade? What do you mean? What do you mean? And to see you shine and be such a light to so many people is so beautiful to see. Thank you for healing my inner child and teaching me how to be a proud Daisy woman. Don't stop. Don't stop it. <laughs> oh my god, this is the Jasmine days. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That was so long ago. That was so long ago. <sighs> Bitch. <laughs> That's so beautiful. I need a drink. Yo. I only got water because I'm going to be dehydrated as fuck. Is Nikki alive? Did Nikki die? Oh yes, palate cleanser. Wait, Isaac, did you give me a sub? I, Isaac, thank you for gifting a sub. It was your first gifted sub. Look, you have a little a little gift box beside your name. Thank you for gifting a sub to the community. I appreciate it, Isaac. Now we're 44 subs away from heat. <laughs> Hold on, we got a we got a palate cleanser here, chat. Syrah, I'm a big fan of World of Warcraft. Is Final Fantasy similar to that game? Um, well, I don't know. Uh, I don't play World of Warcraft, but I guess like in terms of rating and it being an MMO, yes. But Final Fantasy XIV is superior because... I, I know I do need electrolytes. Sarah is embodying Heidelin's message, being the light to others in deepest despair. Uh -huh. Girl, what in the Shadowbringers is happening in this stream right now? What in the Shadowbringers is going on? Nikki is back like I've noticed. Y'all noticed that? Yes. Because you said you were gonna you were gonna drink every time I cried. I have not stopped crying for like 20 minutes. So we thought you died. <laughs> oh my god, wait. Did nobody did nobody command wait. Command did you know? Command did you know? We have to command did you know AA Master Legend! Yes! There you go! Command, did you know? D did you know? 
It does need to be updated. Oh shit. Oh shit. Let me update it. <laughs> can you read it out the did you will know? Oh, I can. Yeah, I got you. One sec. Um, here, I'll, I'll, I'll update it. I'll, up, I'll, I'll update it with my mouth. Uh, we'll, we'll do the digital update in a bit. First, let me read what I said. Even though this is my first stream catching you, chat shows that you look out for each other. Yous look out for each other. I'm in a couple of other streamers that are the same. Uh, you're good people. None of us would meet had you not brought us together. And, like, that's, like, the bonkers thing, too. Like, chat, we have built a community. Do you ever think about that? Like, it's not just me. It's not just me that's done this. It's us. We collectively built this coven that people can come and hang out in and feel safe in, no matter what their identity or like race is. People can just vibe. And that's so crazy. And y'all deserve like a round of applause and like head pats for that. For like culti for helping me cultivate such a safe space or you know to try our best to cultivate a safe space for people on the internet you know all right let's read this fucking coffee pasta <clears throat> Would, would you like to play the critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV? Did you know it has a free trial and includes the entirety of a realm of born and the award-winning expansion Heaven's Ward? And also the other expansion Stormblood with no restriction on playtime up to level 70? Did you know that? <laughs> Ooh. There you go. <laughs> you happy now, chat? Ooh. Deeply impressive and deeply terrifying. I rescinded my 50 months. Caleb, no! Caleb, no! Come back! <laughs> you guys either get my yeah! Or... Or you get Kira Knightley. <laughs> I can't breathe. Or you get that. I got you. I'm clipping that and sending it straight to Jay. <laughs> Do it. Is he even here? Is he even here modding? I think I saw him earlier, but then he dipped. Cyrus voice acting is why I stick around. If you can't handle her at her tone, you don't deserve her at her woo. I really wish my throat wasn't hurting right now so I could just yeah! But alas. Okay. Chat. How are we feeling? Look at what y'all have done. And I looked so pretty. My makeup looked so good. And now <laughs> We're feeling good, feeling nice, feeling nice, nice. Chat, you feeling nice, nice? Okay. All right. Okay, chat. Are we? Fuck my hair. I can't win with my hair today. It's all like, what is this? Are we ready? Are we ready for more MSQ? Syra looks so nice. I'm considering this FF online addiction. <laughs> Look, all I'm gonna say is if you start playing FF14, you get to look at the pussy. One of us, one of us. <laughs> Alright, can we get a nodders in the chat? <gasps> hey Pars! Hello! Can we get a nodders in the chat? Are y'all ready? 
Are we ready to continue MSQ and stare at Uri Angers? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> There's something amazing about this clip having the name Nasty Frigid Toad in the clip link. Oh, you have to send that to a mod and then they can bump it. Okay. All right, chat. <sighs> if y'all make me cry again, we're about to hit another sub goal. If y'all make me cry again, I swear to God. I s All right. All right. We're surveying, we're surveying. Are you fucking kidding me? We're killing, we're killing, we're murdering. I've murdered. Oh my God, there's more to murder. This is not what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, they did say that Uriange would need my protecting, right? Right? Holy fuck. There's a lot of them. Okay. It's fine though. They're level 84, I'm level 90. Like, what, is, what are they gonna do to me? What are they gonna do to me? <gasps> Emmy! Emmy! Wait! Oh my god, hey Emmy! Hi beautiful! I miss you! I miss you so much! Hello! Um, I know we can't do shoutouts properly in this chat because it's really broken, but y'all have to go give Emmy a follow. She plays a lot of Overwatch and Apex. Like she's more of a shooter gal. Um, but she's fucking great. She's so 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 sweet. I love her to bits and pieces. Oh <gasps> yes, join us in following Emmy. Thank you for whoever did the shout out. Thank you. Jacko! Thank you so much for the eight-month resub. Hello, Bean. Hello. Alright, what is this clip? Wait, would you like to play the critically acclaimed MMO? The critically acclaimed MMO RPG Final Fantasy 14? Woo? <laughs> Okay, wait, chat. I don't know if he's still in here, but how do we convince Isaac to play Final Fantasy XIV with me? How do we convince him? Do I have to offer beans? <laughs> offer beans? The pussy isn't enough. If someone can, um, can, if one of the mods can update the copy pasta in mod chat, um, with, uh, with the, um, the, uh, Stormblood stuff, I can just do a copy paste. I can't really do it right now that I'm streaming. Threaten to ban him if he doesn't? Bro, I got the keys to his place. What is that gonna do? <laughs> Offer pretty people, specifically bun girls or cat girls? I have a cat girl right here. I have a cat girl right here. Did you cry in the Uber yesterday? I yeah, I definitely got like super emotional reading the uh, the tweets. Pars. What was that squelching sound? Did you hear that? Did y'all hear that squelch? What was that? That was nasty. That was nasty. Y'all heard that too, right? Surveying the nearby area, you see no sign of potential threats. This would be a good opportunity to see how Uriange is faring. Have you tried threatening him with no boobas? You know what? I'll try that. Sorry, the squelch was me. Can you keep your squelching to a minimum? 50 sub bomb clip? Oh no. From Nano? Oh no. Is this me crying? <laughs> incredible fucking incredible oh man I still can't believe that I still can't believe that I can't believe the amount of subs y'all have given me today and to think the stream isn't even over yet <laughs> Clive walking again Clive doesn't make the squelching sound he has the leather swishing sound no boobas no point to life that's what I'm saying I mean also, no Emmy, no point to life. I miss you. When are we hanging out again? Mm. 
Let's go to, um, let's go get a uh, brunch again. I would love to get brunch with you again, but it's just been a hot minute since we got brunch. I think literally the last time you and I got brunch was in spring, girl. <laughs> How are you though? How's the hair looking? What did you, did you dye it blue? <gasps> My head hurts. I'm still coughing quite a bit. So I'm going to head to bed. Good night, dentist. Dentist, thank you for all the love that you have given me in chat today. Good night. Sleep well, dentist. Bye. Rianger remains fixated on his work. Oh, cutscene. There, it is done. A magic ink every ons as effic efficacious? As that crafted by the Numu. Rare is the occasion I would conjure mine own, but is nevertheless a most useful skill. The resulting product is admittedly possessed of no pre preternatural properties, but its hue is one of mine own choosing, which I pray the Loperitz will appreciate. Is this gonna be, I don't know. This is gonna be one of the bunnies, I know that. Pepper, Uriange, oh thank goodness, I thought you had been eaten or had perhaps fallen into a crater. Is it a living way? It is. Ishtola has been looking all over for you, Pepper. She says she needs to speak with you about something most urgent. Dire, even. She was also quite clear that she wishes to speak with Pepper alone. Which means, I'm afraid, you must stay behind, Uriange. But worry not! It just so happens we need your help with an errand. Delivering a package from the Watcher's Palace to Bestway's Burrow. It's quite large and heavy, perhaps even too heavy for we poor Lockbarrets. And we would be ever so grateful if you could lend us a hand. Well, I suppose I should be going then. How about a nice pair of hands before I go and meet with Ishtola? That's convenient, especially convenient. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Effective result, thank you. I'm gonna go with the last one. Are you insinuating I would betray the trust of Hydaelyn's Chosen? Or worse, do anything to risk getting on Ishtola's bad side? Oh, I would love to get on her bad side because that means she'll spank me. So, I'm okay with that. <laughs> She's clearly not one to be crossed, nor made to wait. Now, off with you. Worry not, Pepper. Worry not, Pepper. I shan't be long. There they go. <laughs> yeah, my 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 um. Fuck. What is what is it called again? What is it? living way? Yeah, my living way voice. Honestly, kind of slaps. Like, I kind of pop off with it. Considering I don't have the accent either. Hire me! Put me in your video games! What is it? I don't know what the fuck I just witnessed. Dude just casually blew up a bit. Bro, like, what was that? What the fuck was that? Homie just solar flared and then ran away. Like nothing just happened. Bro just did evolved. Oh my God. Never played any Final Fantasy before, but here for Sarah because the only reason I go on Twitter. Aw, Smoochie! That's an honor! Look, this is my first Final Fantasy game. I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV for almost ex Wait! I think I've been playing this game for almost exactly two years now. Because I started the game two weeks before Endwalker came out. 
foolishly thinking that I could catch up and fit and to, to catch up to N Walker in two weeks. It has taken me two years. Um, isn't that crazy? It's like it's not only is it my three year partner anniversary, but it's like my two year Final Fantasy fourteen anniversary. That's awesome. But yeah, no, this is uh this was my first Final Fantasy game, and Square Enix graciously gifted me Final Fantasy 16 in June, which I still have to finish. Oh, fit check, yes. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. You know what? We'll just rock the crown and booty. We'll just rock the crown and booty. Mummy. Oh, Peppa, we thought you would be away for far longer. A dire emergency? I said no such thing. But as you are here, I could use your assistance with one small matter. Running Way, a companion of Growing Ways, apparently has much to tell us of the final days. The problem, however, is that he is determined to live up to his name, refusing to stay still long enough for us to hold a conversation. Is there anywhere he's likely to stop and rest? Or perhaps there's a way to slow him down? What's the rush? I was thinking we should wait here. Maybe enjoy a cold mug of carriage you send. No? <sighs> if it's really that important. We could try using these balls. What is with growing way, bro? <laughs> of moose flesh. Not to be confused with the other thing. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, a growing way? What did growing way mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Bro. Ball joke, ball joke. They're talking about nutsacks. Oh my god. <clears throat> Running away his other notable features, his incessant chatter, so you'll have no trouble finding him in a crowd. And when you do, try lobbing your balls at him. <laughs> Yo, when you find that stupid little bunny, teabag him. Crude, but if it proves effective, he was here in, greater, in greatest Ensvale when last I saw him. Let us split up and find him. So I'm literally gonna whip fleshy balls at a rabbit? Bro, what is this game? What is this game? How I always find dudes in the crowd. <laughs> just, just whipping out balls, bro. <laughs> is that how you identify dudes too? By checking out their balls? This is, this is the way. <laughs> Not to be confused with the other thing. I wasn't even thinking about the other thing until he said so. <laughs> I mean, I was, but then they made it worse. Search your surroundings for running way. All right. And then let's throw our balls at running way. Strike him with a ball of moose flesh. Is it this one? The one that's quite literally running? Yo, flinging balls is a lot harder than it looks. I'm late for a very important appointment. I'm late, I'm late for a very special date. Ow, that's smart. If this was meant to be a joke, it isn't funny. I hit him right in the face with my balls, bro. I got him. I balled him. Get bald, bitch. Dale. Hmm? Yes, I'm running away. Do you mind explaining why you hit me in the face with your balls? <laughs> of moose. Why you hit me in the face with your balls? 
Honestly, I think it's better I not tell you why I teabagged you. I'm highly knowledgeable about the final days. Ha, that's the most ridiculous thing I've heard since I woke up. Who told you that joke? As if you've got time to look to the final days when there's so much to do before the Great Voyage. It's true that Heidelin did impart to us some knowledge of the event, but I know about as much as any other look for it around here. Less, probably. I don't know why anyone would think it's funny to go around telling people I'm an expert, but they'd better hope I don't get my paws on them. I don't like the sound of that. Sorry I couldn't be of more help, but if there's nothing else, I've work to do. And I'm off. <laughs> yeah, the localization team had a fucking field day with this game. <laughs> Get bald, bitch, Dale. Thank you. I think that is probably my my best quote to date. Man, this game is just so good. It's so charming. It always just makes me laugh. Do you know what I mean? Like. Like, yes, A Realm Reborn is a little bit of a slog, but fuck does it have its moments, you know? Like, everything else in the game makes up for it. You can't get this dialogue anywhere else. I mean, the dialogue in FF16 is pretty fucking good, too. I can find ni neither hide nor hair of him. Haha. <laughs> How did you fare? <laughs> So, he knows no more than the others. Care to explain yourself, Growing Way? Uh, well, you see, I, uh... I misremembered! Yes, that's it! I misremembered! Terribly sorry about that. Hmm, afraid I'm drawing a blank, though. Try as I might, I can't remember who I was thinking of. Fuckers. On an unrelated note, what of Uriangier? I assume you spoke with him earlier, but did he say when he'll be returning? On his way to the Watcher's Palace with Living Way. <laughs> Between Growing Way's sudden lapse of memory and our lack of other leads, maybe our time would be better spent lending Uriange a hand. What? Now hold on a moment! It's all coming back to me! Yes, I remember! The information you're looking for is in the archives. Yes, that's where you'll find all sorts of useful knowledge, including that pertaining to the final days. I don't like the sound of any of this. I... I don't like any of this. Oh my god, it's question mark, question mark, question mark. Chat? Chat, we have a question mark, question mark, question mark, um, mission. Oh fuck, okay. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Heart of the matter. With all the little parrots. Growing way is fidgeting with nervous energy, but is it from excitement or worry? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Oh, what to do, what to do. I promised living way I would help, but... No, I promise I'll help, so that's what I'll do. The archives are on the second floor of the main plaza, the eastern wing. Follow me. Okay, let's go. It's pretty quiet. I assumed I'd see more of y'all in game. Well, it's a lonely road for me. I suspect the Loperates are up to something, but if there's ought to be learned in the final days, I think it's best we play along, for now at least. That's a good idea, Mother. Alrighty. Let's get a good view of that. Mm. Moping way? That's me. I am moping way. I'm crybaby. I am absolute big crybaby. Darius is still in a realm reborn. I'm still in heaven's Word. Yeah, I know. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. Good super C. Not the super C. Okay, we're like a fly already. Ooh, sorry for the yawn. We're gonna make a right. Ooh, knocking way has a blue quest for us. Hi, Raya, how are you? Name that way. Okay. Let's go this way. 
before I'm out in Toronto for KoopaCon. That's goal setting. I believe in Ash. I'm watching kind of while also doing the Fall Guys stuff until I get everything I want and they can focus on Heavensward starting tomorrow. I believe in you. like tunnel vision the video game like I'm sure you could catch up I'm sure you could catch up do y'all think I can finish Endwalker in like three weeks <gasps> me I am Nissan I am Nissan should we make a like a little like a little discord server for everybody or something only if you did it every stream, well, obviously. Because I, what I'm thinking of doing, and like, I'm so sorry for everyone that wants to watch my Final Fantasy 16 streams. I do think I can finish Final Fantasy 16 and maybe like a couple more streams if I do really, really long ones. But I think we might just tunnel vision Endwalker for the foreseeable future. I've seen Syra play Skyrim for like 16 hours. Yeah, but that's Skyrim, okay? <laughs> beep, bop, boop, beep, beep, bop, boop. Wait, show of hands, who in chat is gonna be at KupoCon? Oh, and their patches too, true. I gotta do the patches as well. <gasps> Quick scene. Court scene. The mysterious music. Voice acting, please. Fuck. The archives are right through this door, but it seems to be locked. I guess we'll just have to go and find whoever has the key. Growing way, enough. If you have not else to tell us of the final days, need only say so. We can ill afford to be wasting time here, as you well know. Did you yourselves not tell us we must act quickly? Yes, yes we did, but the moon was to be a perfect paradise for the people of Theris, and we're running out of time to make everything ready for their arrival. We hope we hoped you'd see the wonders we have we have to offer. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, I'm like fumbling. Um, but you found nothing but faults and flaws in our work. Only one of you saw potential, so you others must be kept here. Ah, so that's Living Way's game. Run us about in circles and failing that, lock us away so we can't put the plan at risk. Everyone except Urianger. Mm. He understands what is at stake, what must be done. I fear you've misjudged us, Growing Way. Never have we decried, decreed, the notion of using the moon as a means of escape. That said, my heart breaks at the thought of abandoning a theorist and her reflections to their doom. If there is a way to avert the final days, I wish to find it. We all do. We may fail, but our efforts would never be at the expense, at the ex yeah, at the expense of your plans. But why would you take that risk? God damn. There's no room for ifs and maybes now. The people of Aetherius will escape here to the moon. They'll be safe and will finally get to see all their happy, smiling faces. I'm sorry, but we can't let you leave. We just can't. Am I gonna fuck up these rabbits? Oh shit! Do what you must, but try not to hurt them. Yo. I'm about to fuck up a bunny. And not the vibrator kind. I'll be back in a moment. Don't do anything rash while I'm gone. Punt them! Punt them! If we 
dally that overwhelm us with sheer numbers. I say we knock these ones out, split up, and make our way to the exit. Yes! Agreed. Let us reconvene where Argos waits, awaits outside. Oh, the dog. Yo, I'ma fuck this rabbit up. I'ma fuck this rabbit up. you out. I'm sorry, growing way. But it has to end this way. We have to save them. Get fucked. Get fucked. Pepper just staying their hands on him while they blast her with that weak shit is kind of a mood. I know, right? Look, it's canon, okay? Let's just pretend that Pepper was like, ah ha 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 ha, okay? R.I.P. Bozo! R.I.P. Bozo! Dude, punting the Lopperets is all I've wanted to do. Yeah, they're fucking cute, but god do I want to deck them. Kick them like a soccer ball and watch it bounce around the walls, you know? <laughs> Growing Way is voiced by Graha? Oh, by Jonathan Bailey? That's a slay. Um, can I leave through here? No. How do I? I don't remember how to get out. Chat, I don't remember how to leave. Chat, how do I get out? You know what? For KupoCon, I'll make a- I'll, I'll work on my tweet this weekend. And then I'll make a post in the Discord server. And instead of making a separate server, maybe we- Actually, no. I think a separate server would be best. Chat, what do you think? Do we think, do you think we should, do you think a, a separate server would be best or like a group, oh you're already making it? Okay Kelsey, Never mind then. Shout out to Kelsey, shout out to mom. All right, we found our ghost. Good, you're here. We must hurry to Watcher's Palace and find Uriange. Yeah, no shit. Oh, I'm nervous about this cutscene. I don't know why. I'm getting interesting vibes. And uh, what, pray tell, do we seek at the Watcher's Palace? Voice acting. Voice acting. Oh, come off it, friend. You know full well why we're here. No? The time has come for you to return to Atheris and help your brethren prepare for their journey here and beyond. Forgive me, Living Way, but I cannot in good conscience proceed with this plan. Huh? But what about the final days? The death and the doom? Oh, we have to hurry before it's too late! Your unflagging commitment to your duty there is endearing, to say the least. I had to spit that out. Wait, the music. Oh, the music. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Be at ease. They bear you no grudge, nor do I. How could we, having come to understand your purpose? For millennia, you and yours worked tirelessly towards the singular purpose of this heavenly vessel's construction. An arduous feat by any measure. It is clear you have spared no effort. Why, your very names are a testament to your dedication. Our... our names? I'm not 
sure I understand what you're getting at. Names are an expression of the self. A declaration of one's hopes and aspirations. Your use of contemporary, uncomplicated nomenclature doth ensure clarity of purpose. There can be no doubt that your love for the people of Atheris is boundless and pure. I wish, I wish, I wish I could play Shadowbringers for the first time all over again. I really wish I could experience all of Shadowbringers all over again. Like, I'm unwell. I'm literally so unwell. No, no, don't worry. I haven't cried yet. Not yet. We're not at 72 yet. I love this girl for Uriah's day so much though, yeah. I mean, I don't know how to describe it. Like, I would almost say to like, almost to see him like soften and not be so technical and become more personal. And that goes for a ton of the characters in this game, too. Fuck, that caught me off guard, though. The Sancred close-up? That killed me. Yes! Mm, uncomfortable, yes! true. Mm -hmm. A most mellifluous phrasing! Well, that's, like, that's what I mean by, like, being more personal. You know, like... He even said it to us in the last cutscene. About, like, how he feels more comfortable talking about things like that and how we never used to. So, it's good growth. Like, it is good growth for, um, for Uriange. Mm. I love it for him. Love for it to a bone of Hydaelyn's love for Atheris. Love for Atheris, oh ho! That shining, shimmering blue jewel, brightest star oh, in the sky. this voice is terrifying. Brimming with life and possibilities. For as long as I can remember, I've toiled in anticipation of the day when this vessel might be needed. <laughs> All I've ever wanted was to meet those she cherished so dearly. Aww. To serve and serve well. Aww. That goes for all of us. Don't you see? So help us. Help us help them. Lead them here where we can keep them safe. If there's anything wrong with what we've built, we'll fix it. We'll make it right. Head pats? Head pats? Orange head pats? Your works want not for repair. Yet there remaineth much for you to learn of men and your own kin besides. Singing way, thy name bespeaketh more than the simple marriage of rhythm and rhyme. The songs of Etheris are beyond counting and span the length and breadth of emotion. Maps are monuments to man's pioneering spirit and his devotion to charting the furthest reaches of our star. 
Many have devoted their lifetimes to exploratory pursuits, to venture onto the highest mountains and the deepest oceans in search of unknown frontiers. And thou, my friend, I... Oh, I do not think we've met. My... My name is Puddingway. Pudding way? Yes, indeed. A name of deep and abiding significance, I'm sure. But one perhaps better communicated through delicious deeds than tasteless words. <laughs> a judicious application of fey magics at a later juncture may be appropriate. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> <clears throat> and living way. Tis no easy feat to convey the significance of thy moniker. Hmm. When I was a bookish boy, a dear friend of mine was fond of peppering me with questions as I read, to my occasional annoyance. One day, I posed to her a question of mine own. What doth it mean to live? After much contemplation, she proffered this answer. The anticipation of a half-read story's conclusion. The hope today's mistake may serve as tomorrow's lesson. The wish that a new acquaintance may one day call thee friend. She believed it to be all these moments and more. to understand, but... I, too, still labor to find mine own answer. T'would be my pleasure to assist you and yours in embarking on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. For thee. Ink as blue as the waters of Etheris. Made in haste, though I assure thee, the quality has not suffered for it. Do y'all see the perfect teardrop on my boob? Do y'all see the perfect teardrop on my boob? Oh my god. It literally rolled off my cheek and splashed on my titty. <laughs> oh, fuck. The people need not be persuaded by honeyed words. Nay, I have faith they shall do what is right in due course. Until they do, I beg your patience, friends. And with that ink, let us fill the empty pages of Living Way's Compendium. An open exchange of ideas will surely afford you all a better understanding of modern man, and with it, ideas for improvements and renovations. But more importantly, it shall empower us to together find a way forward. I hope you're right. Thank you for this lovely gift. <clears throat> Man, there you have it. Out still. <laughs> I shall remain with the Loperitz to ensure that all is in order. Though we must needs prepare for every eventuality, you would all agree that the evacuation of our star is a last resort. To accept failure is to accept the demise not only of our star, but that of Reen's, of all reflections, <laughs> and the souls that call them home. Which is why I have every faith that you shall fight to the last, that such drastic measures may prove unnecessary. Should the worst come to the worst, and I pray deeply that it won't, I'll take comfort in knowing preparations were made under your watchful eye. 
Aye. Thou mayest be assured that if calamity cometh, not a soul will be left behind. If being the operative term. I don't like the sound of that. I'm just for bad foreshadowing. Oh, my pussy is glowing! <laughs> ah! My ass! My ass was literally glowing! My cheeks lit the fuck up! Ah! That flower! How came it into your possession? How very like her. Guided by its light, you may come to know her true intentions. Intentions which remain a mystery even to us. In our time, we called it Elpis. You would do well to remember the name. Elpis. Piss. Piss flower. Piss, piss, piss. Piss, piss, piss. Oh, I'll put it back in my ass. It's a new um, butt plug. I hate to interrupt, but <laughs> I feel like I need to make amends for all the secrecy. Think nothing of it. We haven't been the most gracious of guests. Do convey our apologies to Growing Way and the others. But of course! And when next we welcome more guests from Aetheris, we'll have learned to be much more hospitable hosts. Oh, and circling back to the matter of inappropriate secrecy, we ought to discuss our benefactors. Agreed. The Charlian Forum, yes? The more I heard, the more obvious it became. The forum's aims align closely with those of your anonymous patrons. A telling coincidence would be an understatement. Gasp. Though had we not taken it upon ourselves to peruse certain restricted tones in Labyrinthos, we might still be unaware of their plans. But let us continue this discussion upon our return. I dare say we have kept Alphino and the others waiting long enough. My babies, my twins, my babies, my twins. Good night, Nissan. Good luck tomorrow. Bye, Bean. Bye, bye, bye. My Burger King crown. You don't like my Burger King crown? I think my Burger King crown is kind of cool. I'm going to talk to the watcher real quick, though. I chanced to spy you crossing the chasm, and I feared something was amiss. But all is well, and more importantly, I have been given the opportunity to behold a wonderful sight. Yeah, my ass. Keep the Elpis close, and its light will be your guide. Okay. Bro, look at Pepper's ass. Dude. Oh my god. Yo. Mmm. 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 Riku, hello! It's nice to see you too! Is now cozy under the weighted blanket? Oh, hell yeah, Alec. Get nice and cozy. Alright, so our Kai, our Kai, our cry counter, I think, is at 73 now. I have cried three times this entire stream for this game. Infinitely more for other reasons, but. <laughs> Yeah. All right. It was a relief to see living. Way! Holy, that was loud. Alex, thank you for the three gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody that got gifted a sub. Welcome to the comment. Would you badge your message today? No, the toe bean number is actually 555. If we hit the 555, you get your toe beans. <laughs> Twas a relief to see Living Way was pleased with my gift of ink. To serve and serve well. Though their knowledge may be lacking, the, bo the boundless love is a blessing without peer. It will be no easy task to prepare them for what must needs be done, but gladly do I embrace this duty, even if it doth necessitate. 
necessitate that we part ways for a time. Forgive me my absence, but I have the utmost faith in you. In all our fellow scions, when I, return, when I next return to Etheris, I pray I find you all in good health and good spirits. All right, we're going home now, baby. Returning home. With the Loperitz and Uriange's capable hands, we needn't worry about affairs here in our absence. Knowing now the face of their earthly collaborators, there is much to discuss with Alfino and the others. Let us return to the Tower of Babel. Our battle for the star will soon begin in earnest, and we must be prepared. Oi! Our battle! Our battle! Our battle! I'm running, bitch. Running, running, and I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, no. What could possibly go wrong? If uh, mm, mm. What? What the fuck? Etherite, fit check? No, no, no. We're keeping the booty out. <gasps> Exit to the nether gate? Ooh, it's a portal. Wait, what is this clip? Is this clip my boob, my teardrop falling on my boob? Oh, it's the glowing pussy. <laughs> Safe to say I'm a little drunk now? Oh my god, Nikki! How many shots have you had? How goes it? How goes the drinking? Oh, haven't heard this music in a hot minute. Gods, I can scarcely believe we went to the moon and back. But we'll have time to reflect on that later. Later? Later? Right now, we need to head back to Camp Broken Glass and deliver a thoroughly detailed report to Lucia. Lucia! I'd like very much to know how everyone is getting on here as well. They'd only just begun to treat the temper prisoners when we left. Oh, right. I share your curiosity, but warning our allies of the final days is of greater importance. I speak not only of the contingent, of course. The heads of state of every nation must know what we have learned. We know not when or where or in what manner the final days will begin to manifest, and so we must see that everyone is prepared. Agreed. Though we may wish to stress the importance of discretion, lest the public be sent into panic. Not that anyone in a position of responsibility should need to be told as much, but it bears repeating. Anyway, first things first. To cap broken glass. I get to reunite with my babies! I'm gonna send a timer to call 911 for Nikki in like 20 minutes! Nikki, don't do anything stupid! Thank you, Sense! And to anyone here who has wished me a happy partnerversary and I completely missed it, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's check something real quick before we continue. This music is so good. Ooh, Blue Quest. Let's see what this Blue Quest is. Oh, okay. Hmm. Should Pepper change? Yeah. Now that we're back here, let's put on the winter coat. Where's the winter coat? There it is. Yes. Goodbye, crown. Hello, RP fit. <laughs> is it when I came in my happy part anniversary? Thank you, K Ace. Thank you, Ace. I appreciate it. <gasps> It's a Tess! And it's a Vo! Hello, my babies! Hello! Oh, I get a kiss from Vo. Oh, and I get a kiss from Tess right on my ass as I'm bending over. Amazing. Oh my god, wait, Tess's boobs are out. Wait. Oh, yes. Tess has some of the best boobs I've ever seen in this game. Look. Look. Like, are you kidding? Look at those. Look at those bahongaroos. Look at those titties. She got scaly boobs. 
Are you pointing at her boobs? They're quite nice. They are quite nice. You good? No, I'm staring at tits. <laughs> Tess is here to help motivate you. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for Tess and everything that she does for me. Oh, she gave me headbats? Oh, I'm gonna come. You're gonna make me come. <gasps> Am I getting two kisses? Oh, just the one. I thought I was getting two. <gasps> oh my god, Mommy Lucia. It's good to see you all again. No rest for your Luna adventure, I hope. We've done what we can for now, and believe me, we intend to tell you all about it. But before we do, might you tell us what's become of Garlemald in our absence? We succeeded in subduing the Tempen inside the Tower of Babel. We took many alive, but combined with those who were already in our custody, the number requiring care has grown exponentially. The inclement conditions here have made it difficult, if not impossible, to treat them all here, so we have petitioned the aid of the Allied Nations. Beauty. Beauty. Some are, understandably, hesitant to proffer assistance, particularly those that were but recently subject, subject to imperial occupation. That said, several others have agreed to grant them refuge for treatment. Oh, good. With the assistance of your fellow scions, we endeavored to see them safely transported and subsequently cured of the tempering. Will all the tempered be relocated? Not all, no. We have sufficient shelter to attend to those whose treatment has begun, and enough healers have volunteered to remain until their patients have recovered. Eulis is one pa is one such patient. Eulis is one such patient, though. One such patient, though he is not yet fit to receive visitors. Truth be told, it was a miracle he and those in his company were not harmed in the chaos. Not for Alfino and Alize's timely assistance, I dare say none of them would be with us today. My babies! My children! Look at me! I'm beaming! I'm so proud! In light of recent developments, have the Alliance leaders come to any decisions regarding Golemold? Given the tremendous ramifications of what has happened here, it will take time to determine what must be done. In the meantime, they intend to work with the Eastern Alliance to keep a close watch over the provinces. We have other news to share. Shortly after Anima was defeated, we received reports that each and every tower has vanished. For Mercy, the process was apparently not quite as violent as that you experienced in Thavne. Those who were trapped within them have been rescued and are receiving treatment. To hasten this endeavor, the beast tribes have received instruction in the magics needed to cure tempering. Master Matoya is no doubt thrilled the, mo the mother pork sea affords her so many visitors. Yes, we are grateful to her ongoing efforts, as well as those of our comrades near and far. As for the contingent, the contingent, several of our members have been granted leave to return to their homelands after the transfer of Tempered has been completed. Lucy and I will remain, along with a small force, to continue offering aid to those here in Garlemald. The Empire may be no more, but there are yet those who call these lands home. I believe that accounts for recent events here. So, what are the moon and Tilofaroi? <laughs> Thank you for the posture check and the hydration. Good night, Deadpool. Final days. Gods, I prayed your victory would mark the end of our troubles. There's still much we do not know, but the Alliance leaders must be told. Would you be willing to contact them in our stead? Yes, of course. I will send more I will send word forthwith. We'll also release your fellow scions from their present duties, that they may return to Charlian. Your energies are better spent finding a means to avert the coming apocalypse. Speaking of your fellow scions, you'll be happy to hear that Mistress Cryle, the Stolen Mend, has been moved to the Baldessian Annex and given into Tataru's care. Thank you. I look forward to seeing them both upon our return. Let us be on our way then. Ah, oh, we're returning! Oh, one last thing, if I may. I want to go to Charlian. After a confrontation with Zodiac, he said Xenos took his leave, and in all likelihood, he has returned here to Garlemald. I have a mind to dispatch scouts to try and ascertain his whereabouts, but first wish to ask if you believe there is merit in doing so. If they found him, they would not likely live to tell a tale. If you are expecting a trail of destruction to follow, you won't find one. 
An admirable but futile endeavor? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the first one. It's not a good idea. I suppose you're right. To dispatch, to dispatch good soldiers in pursuit of such a beast would be to send them to their deaths. Pray forget I entertain the notion. Well, on the subject of Xenos, the fourth? Four, the man, the man, no. Fifth? What's X? I don't remember. I don't remember my Roman numerals. Ten? Thank you. The Tenth Legion has made an official proclamation. They denounce the Crown Prince and condemn his role in the Empire's downfall. His very title has become a source of shame among his former subjects, and its continued use serves only to hinder relations with foreign, foreign nations. For this reason, he has been declared as Xenos Viator Galvos, Galvos, outcast and enemy of Garlemald. Oh, that's a sleigh! Prince Daniel is no more, and now his own people turn against him. Seems he's not but, but his bloodlust to keep him company. Better that than an army to see it sated. At any rate, I will not keep you longer. I pray you safe passage back to Charlien. I am really excited to return to Charlien. I haven't been there in a hot minute. All right, let's go. I get to see my babies. I get to see my twin babies. I get to see my little babies! Oh my god, I miss them so much. I miss them! Where are my children? Where is my daughter? Where is my son? And where is my wife? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Load faster. I want my babies. What time is it? Oh, it's only 10.30. Yo, we're killing it. My wife. Okay. <laughs> The music here is so beautiful. Oh man. Oh. Oh, I'm so excited to go see my little chicken nuggets. Oh. What is this Lollafell doing? You're just enjoying the view? I mean, it is a nice view. I will say that. Oh, who's waving? Ooh. Oh! Hello! Are you gonna enjoy the view with me too? Oh, you have Matoya's hat! Look at, those, look at those aura boobies! You got the aura boobies out! Hi, Syndra. I get a kiss. I get a kiss. And. Do I run here? Yeah, I do. Alright. Let's go. Kryle! Oh! We have the same hair! Oh, you have blue in yours. Never mind. Oh! Oh, 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 sorry. Oh my god, they're looking at me. Oh my god, they looked away. Oh my god, that was so awkward. Oh my god, that was so awkward. Oh my god, that was so awkward. Oh my god, I'm looking away. I just want to look at their hair. <laughs> Welcome back, Peppa. We were so terribly worried about you. Though it is plain I have caused my own fair share of worry, and for that I apologize. Heidlin called to me that day when you entered the Tower of Babel. Her pleas were faint but desperate, and I knew at once she required a vessel to carry out her will. What came after feels like a dream really remembered. My body flowing through the life stream toward Garlemald. When I regained consciousness, I was all aches and frostbite, exhausted of ether. So exhausted, in fact, I could only laugh, for it was in that moment I understood Raha's weariness from the Tower of Zot. More that I could laugh at a time like this. Though we prevented Zodiac from being unleashed upon the world, I'm curious to know what else took place out on the moon. Ah, perhaps we should wait for the others to join us before you give us before you give your account. Let us reconvene in the main hall once they've arrived. Alright. Do I just go here? Main hall entrance? Yeah. Oh, give me a cutscene. Give me something dramatic. Wait for your comrades to arrive. Shabababatron. Hello, hello. Alright, let's see what awaits us here. Chat, how are we feeling? Are we all good? My son! My wife! 
Is my, my where's my daughter? Where's my daughter? My daughter! Sorry to have kept you all waiting. <clears throat> Not at all. We understood you've been quite busy. Will Orange be joining us? Mm -mm. Duty keeps him away, I'm afraid. Though Peppa can explain why better than I. The final days as befell Amarat. And we are to escape via the moon. What are the source and its reflections? I have no intention of standing by while the world falls to ruin. So, how do we stop this? Unfortunately, we have no answers at present. If the celestial currents have grown stagnant, as was the case in the time of Amarot, the solution would be to alter the flow of ether throughout the entirety of, a st of the star. The ancients accomplished this by summoning a zodiac, sacrificing half the star's population in the doing. Mm. But it should go without saying that such a sacrifice must not, cannot be repeated. Which leaves us with the daunting task of identifying the underlying catalyst for the final days. A feat which, a feat which even the Emer, 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 Emeratines? Emer, Emer, Emerat, Emeratines? Emeratines? Could not accomplish. Unfortunately, we have found no clues in Mare Lamentorum. There's still much we do not know about the catastrophe itself, let alone what may have caused it. The final days are marked by the corruption of the Emeratines creation magics. We command no such power. Which invites the question, what havoc is in store for us? If we knew that much, perhaps we could draw some parallel with the ev draw some parallel with the events of the past, and thereby f form some semblance of a plan. Perhaps we should start with the forum then. Having worked with the Loperates in secret all this time, there is surely more they can tell us. <gasps> Forgive the interruption, but I have urgent news! The forum is holding a public assembly in the plaza outside. Some sort of announcement. What is father up to now? Oh, fuck. There's only one way to find out. Oh, fuck. What is this fuck not daddy looking sexy ass man doing? Don't fuck it up, bro. Fuck me up instead. Oh. We got the ha-ha music coming in. I think. I thank you all for gathering here on such short notice. Bro, your mustache doesn't this even day connect. We must speak of grave affairs and their implications for the future of Charlian. Nay, of this very star. Said affairs concern all citizens. And so we have called for a public assembly. You may have heard rumors of the Talofaroi and the havoc these madmen wreak abroad. Under normal circumstances, we would pay little heed to petty disturbances outside our borders. The final days, however, are another matter altogether. For we dare not ignore these prophetic words of Eld. The end bearers will come, ushering chaos and calamity. The final days descend and devour the very stuff. They're gonna come. But I'm a jam. While they do it. This prophecy? Is it true? Will all that really happen? Calm yourselves. 
The time has come to speak of the Forum's most sacred duties. But first... Give voice to the voiceless. Let bindings be unbound. By unanimous oh. decree, I declare the enchantment broken. They knew how to undo that this whole time? They can talk about their shit now. I fucking, oh my god, I forgot about that plot point. I completely forgot about that plot point. Oh, they're gonna reveal this Master shit. Master Leveilleur. Oh god. If you would. Oh god. Very well. <laughs> 270 years ago, our forebears began an expedition in the Dravanian hinterlands in search of a route to access the ethereal sea. This much is public knowledge. Their findings, however, would become the Forum's most closely guarded secret. What those researchers discovered in the Hinterlands was not a passage unto the Ethereal Sea, but the very heart of our star, and Hydaelyn herself. She spoke to them of a calamity that would extinguish all life and of a means by which we might be spared. The moon. Tis in truth a gargantuan vessel built to serve as sanctuary for her children and deliver them from this doom. Much like Nuncref's hope in ages past, it will bear the people of a world in the throes of death to a new home. Needless to say, this will be no small undertaking. To facilitate the great work, the Forum has maintained close contact with the servants of Hydaelyn, who presently reside on the moon. Convinced that the foretold end was all but inevitable, we began amassing a wealth of knowledge, not merely for the betterment of our nation, but in preparation for the journey to come. You reveal this to us now? By the gods, how long do we have? While we cannot say with certainty, we believe the hour to be nigh. We received a transmission from the moon suggesting as much not long ago. Which is why we must in earnest begin preparations for the great exodus. Oh, that's so exciting. For his impressive contributions and the leadership he demonstrated during our withdrawal from Dravania, we have elected Master Leveilleur to oversee this initiative. Fellow scribes and scholars, my countrymen, we face a threat of unprecedented scale. We must challenge the trials before us with composure and conviction if we are to find salvation. The wisdom of Charlian has ever been a shining beacon in the darkness, and so it shall continue to be. It is our solemn charge to see our heritage preserved for future generations. For those who will come after, we will brave a new frontier. Mm. Administrative edicts will be relayed to all major institutions ere long. In the meantime, carry on with your duties. With that, I hereby call this assembly to a close. <laughs> Damn, so they got daddy running the show, huh? Also, good night, Irish. Thank you for hanging out and thank you for all the love today. Do 
you remember what Mother told us when we visited home? That it wasn't until after we were born that Father seemed to lose himself in his work. If that great work of his was the evacuation of this star, then... Yes. It wasn't for his benefit. It was for them. Would you mind waiting here a moment? I wish to speak with Father before we leave. Thank you. I shan't be long. Oh. If it's all the same to you, I have a few choice words to share with Father as well. So, come to call us cowards and... Bid us join your fruitless battle against the inevitable. Nay, we do not object to the Forum's proposal. On the contrary, those who wish to flee have every right to do so. Orianger is cooperating with your associates on the moon to ensure that all is ready should evacuation be our only recourse. Then whatever your business, I suggest you be brief. Stop. Though we cannot boast the boundless wisdom of Charlian, we have first-hand knowledge of foreign cultures and have conversed with no small number of peoples. These experiences have taught us fundamental truths that cannot be recorded in any tome nor charted on any map. The beating heart of this planet is its people, many of whom would give anything, even their lives, to protect the lands they love. Many may choose to join you in the end. But what of those unwilling or unable, for whom escape will never be an option? What would you have them do? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, Father. It is indolence. This is why we choose to fight. Oh, we'll not ask for your understanding, Father. This is too real. Only that you don't turn a blind eye to the good we have done. That we can still do. We're not children in need of protection. Hold fast to your principles and let the world burn if it please. But we believe there is still another way. And if there is, we will find it. You see if we don't. There's my baby. Do as you will. Just stay out of our way. Were he not so consumed with self-righteousness, he might tell you how proud he is of you both. Bold words call for bold action. And there'll be no turning to your father should plans go awry. Still can't believe they nerfed Justinian's list. As if I ever would. So long as there are those who wish to stay and fight for this star, we have to do what we can to help them. And if we're to do that, we'll need to be well rested. Nappy Wouldn't you agree? Nappy. Having triumphed over what we once thought to be the Thanks source of for having me. I can think of no one in greater need of at least a dozen wings. A dozen wings? I could go for two dozens. Shall we then? To the Annex. To prepare for tomorrow.
Gorfax, thank you for the five month resub and thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. That's 74, by the way, chat. We are at 74. Ed Walker is actually beating me to a pulp. I did not think I'd be crying this much. I truly did not think I I, I would be crying like this. No Noah, it's a prince. Noah, hello, hello, hello. I did. <laughs> Endwalker, more like Blubber Walker. I'm actually suffering. Carl tells me the forum made a rather monumentous, momentous announcement. So it's to be a great exodus, is there? I'm reminded by, of my narrow escape from the Isle of Val. The realization, the running, the mixture of relief and regret after. Why me, I asked myself. Why me? Why us? Why now? Why wonder? There's no use fretting over the cosmic morality or lack thereof. We're here, and we'll get through this together. And who knows, maybe my luck will rub off rub off, and grant everyone an air of escape. There's no harm in praying for as much. Oh, but enough of my rambling. I'm sure you're exhausted. Your chamber awaits. The why me? That's killer. You know? It's like, why did I make it? Why did I survive? Why... Why am I okay? Why didn't the others make it? Why didn't my friend make it? Why didn't my family make it? You know? Knowing what made you cry before, I had a feeling it would hit you pretty hard. I am baby. I truly am baby. I originally predicted 100 and I was worried because you held strong at the start. I did. I did. I did. I was, I was strong and I fought, but... Once the waterworks start, that's it. Ah, oh, yeah, Survivor's Guild. That's exactly what it's called. Yes. Oh. Okay. Someone just ran into me. Oh, cutscene. Oh. Good the scene. Pepper toes. Pepper lookout window. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's beautiful. Mommy? Mm -mm. We get in a vision of the fucking the final days. Oh god. Oh crikey. Oh god. Someone's at my door. Who's there? A visitor has come knocking at your door. Whoever could it be? I What will I, what will I say? Alfido? Alize? I feel like it's either Ali, it's, it's not going to be any of them. But. I kind of want to ask. I kind of want to ask for mommy. But I also kind of want to ask for Astinian. But I also kind of want to ask for Alize. Wait, what do you mean? Which one do I want? Wait, what do you mean, which one do I want? Wait, I can pick who shows up? Wait, I can pick who shows up? I don't know. Well, I love it when Alize comes to check on me because she's my baby. And I love it when mommy does too. I can't, I, uh, I kind of want it to be Graha Tia though. Graha's my wife. Who do I pick? Chat, without giving me spoilers, who should I pick? Like, who do you think I should pick? Who would Pepper pick? <sighs> if someone came knocking at Pepper's door late at night, I feel like she would be most relieved if it was Alize or Grahatia. Like, straightforward. If it was Thanker, it's like, oh, it's you. If it's Ishtola, it's like, oh, am I in trouble? If it's Alfino, it's like, oh, hey, bud. If it's Astidian, it's like... You want some fuck? <laughs> yeah. 
You know what I mean? I can view them all later in the in room? Okay. Estinian is very good, but Graha? <laughs> okay, Estinian or Graha? Well, do you want some fuck? A. A. Look, I'm just saying. Graha? Okay, we're gonna go with Graha. We're gonna go with wife. Estinian really would be hitting us with the you up text. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, well, let's let's do Graha. Give me my wife. <gasps> Oh, why is he all nervous? What is happening? What? And he's his tail. What is going on? Is this a booty call? Apologies. I, um, I, I didn't mean to. <clears throat> if you could spare a moment before bed. Do you want a burger? Thank you. I fear this may be the last quiet night we have to talk for quite some time. Oh, he's not coming in. He doesn't want to come in. I am troubled of late. Unwarranted concerns, perhaps. I hope. Nevertheless, I feel compelled to share them with you. Okay. Though you have bested your enemies thus far, Xenos and even Zodiac, your victories have come in? at considerable cost to yourself. This, what is it? What Bollywood movie am no I watching? One is without their limits. And you are no exception. I worry the added weight of the final days will prove more than you can bear. It is surely too much for any one woman. But you needn't bear it alone. Let me share your burden. My, uh, carrying capacity pales in comparison to yours, but I could still help. Shoulder the occasional satchel from your ever-growing mountain of, um, baggage. You have already done so much to help relieve me of mine own encumbrances. It is only fair that I repay you in kind. Of course, it needn't be only troubles we share. Moments of joy may seem few and far between now. But there will come a time when we look back fondly on this journey. The inquiry at the Forum, our march through the snows of Garlemald, our impromptu dinner in this very room, all of it. And that is to say nothing of the journeys yet to come, to the ends of the world and beyond. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, but tomorrow will be no less busy than today. And I've kept you from your rest long enough. Sleep well, my friend. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. I love him so much. He's so soft. That's my wife. But this motherfucker just friend zoned me in 4K. Oh, a short while earlier in the Alamican quarter. I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Thank the gods that tower is gone. The sight of it was enough to make me sick. Thank the Ilsebar contingent, more like. Word is, they fought their way into Garlemald and toppled the bloody thing themselves. Not just the one, neither. All the towers have up and vanished. Aye, I heard the same. Commander Aldin and his troops helped keep casualties to a minimum, too. Isn't that Shistola's voice actor? But is it true they brought back tempered Garlean soldiers? As Commander Aldin tells it, 
They've a treatment for that now. But don't you worry. Cured or not, they've no plans to bring them into the city proper. I see. Well, that's a relief then. I know we've brothers and sisters among the lot, but I can't say I'm eager to welcome them home. Won't need to think about it for a while yet. They're to be looked after in Alagana for the time being. Is that Eulis? Or is this somebody else? Ishgard? What is happening in Ishgard? What is happening to my family? Okay, we're by the tavern. Or the inn. Oh! Oh! My babies! Another day, another commission of paramount importance. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, what's gonna happen here? Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Well, what have we here? Oh my god. Hmm. Bro, you got a dark knight behind you. He's got your back. Hey, are you all right? Was that? No. The shadows play tricks. Nothing more. The towers are gone. And the Garlean threat is abated. And yet, why does it feel as though it's about to get much, much worse? It's not the foreshadowing. How's the moon looking? <laughs> Is it red? <laughs> what is ha- That's Rod's at Han. Is it? I don't know. I couldn't- I couldn't read the thing. I couldn't read the label fast enough. What does that mean? stream here what if I ended stream right here hmm hmm holy no are you fucking kidding me are you kidding me I'm not I'm literally I can't I have to keep going after that are you fucked look I'm gonna go pee and then we're gonna continue there is literally no way I'm ending stream on that note let me go piss and and then and then um and then we'll be back okay
Oh man, chat. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Chat. I'm so, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Kelsey really wants you to end stream here? I think I will, actually. <gasps> Himiko Greystone pet worship on? Who's, who's Himiko? They pet, they pet my boy. It's a Greystone. They have a Greystone, the Greystone last name. <sighs> Hi, Ponto. I'm new here, but it's so fun to see streamers reaction of MSQ. Hope you'll enjoy the rest of the story. I hate this game. I actually hate this game a lot. I've never enjoyed playing this game ever in my entire life. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no, this game is such a fucking blast. It is such a blast. I I don't know what I don't know what to do right now. I don't know I don't I I I'm like uh I'm really I'm really nervous. I'm really really nervous. The game is like picking up. And I'm scared. I'm so scared. Estinian cutscene? Shouldn't I just continue the game first and then do that later? Sauce Chef, thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Oh, fuck! Oh! We'll do ya. Thank you for the sub. Okay, chat. We're gonna mute alerts real quick. I forgot to do that. I haven't played MSQ in a long time, so I've been forgetting to mute things. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so much piss die. Oh, Peppa, I was just about to call for you. I'm afraid we've received another call for assistance and it comes, out, comes from Razahan. The others have assembled in the main hall to discuss the situation. You must join them at once. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, not Raza Han. No. No, my Han. My Han. Ponto, thank you for the 169. Ah, there you are. Oh shit, did I accidentally miss something? No, I didn't. Okay. Our worst fears have come to pass, but moments ago we received grim tidings from a contact in Radzat Han. Wild beasts have appeared as if out of nowhere, claiming one victim after the next. What's more, they say the very sky burns above them. Good gods, are the final days already upon us? The final days are upon us. It appears so. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Sadly, that is all the information we have at present. No doubt the people at Razahan are busy fighting for their lives. Then we must go at once. They need our help. Agreed. Kryle, you'd best remain here with Tataru and gather what knowledge you can. You are in no condition for a long journey, I imagine. Very well. Similar phenomena may have been observed elsewhere, and if so, we must know about it at once. Be safe out there, yes? Let us make for Yedlimad. Yed, yed, uh, yedlimad. Yedlimad. We must prepare ourselves for what may lie ahead. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My beautiful home! Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. RP time. 
That's the wrong fucking glam, bitch. Come on. Why can't my glam? Why can't my glam be restored? There we go. All right. Now we can go. Now we can go. Pepper means business, okay? Pepper means business. Mm. I don't like this chat. I don't like this. The music fucks though. Turns into a techno beat. And lo, vile beasts did rise. Leaving naught in their now wake that is an angle. Sun scorches earth and boils seas, and our sins ascend unto the heavens. Three dooms to unmake all we were. My friends, I trust you have heard the news. We have. What can you tell us of the situation, Your Excellency? Last night, the isle was rocked by tremors, and the earth itself cried out. Aloft, the heavens began to burn. From all about, unholy beasts, the likes of which we had never seen, came forth in fury and rage. No. To say they came forth would be inexact. The people of Radzat Han themselves transformed into these baleful fiends. Though the phenomenon was observed throughout our lands, the first creature, the largest and most dreadful of the lot, wrought havoc upon us here in our fair city. Though they bear superficial resemblance to divinities of legend, they are ungodly abominations. The people decry them as blasphemies. The large one's rampage has since taken it to the northern reaches of the island. I mean to dispatch our radiant host in an attempt to quell the threat. And what of Vritra? Vitra too makes for the north of his own accord, and yet... He knows the blasphemy and its minions were but yesterday his beloved people. I pray his boundless compassion and mercy does not deter him from taking unenviable but necessary action. Understood. I ask that you allow us to aid you in quelling this threat. Please. You would risk your lives to help us yet again. Pepper is from here. It's her lore. I have no words to express my gratitude. Our regiments approach the north from several directions, with a number of units set to depart from the docks of Yedliman. They will make landfall in an area of dense jungle. But one can expect to encounter dangers even beyond the fell beasts we hunt. I leave you to your preparation. You will find me at the docks when you are ready to depart. Prepared as we'll ever be. 
Let's go. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> That's a dope fucking shot of the warrior of light. Oh my god, chat. Chat. I have a confession. I'm cramping really badly. My period is due and I'm, I am actually starting to cramp really bad. I could probably keep going, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> Hi, Trist. <laughs> Oh, I feel like this is where we're gonna have to call it for the night. Yeah, this is where we're gonna have to call it. It's like, it's hurting really bad. Like, I'm sure I could get an Advil, but like, yeah, I don't wanna, I don't wanna go through this. Yeah, I don't wanna go through this and like miss anything because I'm in pain. You know, who's kissing me? Tess, thank you. This definitely does seem like a good stopping point. Holy fuck, I am so emotional. Not Rods at Han, that's Pepper's home. I literally am trying to, like, I purposely haven't written too much of Pepper's lore um, because I wanted to get through Endwalker first so I could, like, come up with things, right? Um. Uh, so I could come up with things that like are actually like more canon. I don't want like I didn't want to write something for her and then have to change it later down the road, right? Like I would rather like have it in my head and then once I'm done Endwalker, put the pieces together and then I can start writing like Final Fantasy 14 fanfic. And if this is what is happening at Rods at Han, that changes so much for my pepper. This bitch cannot catch a break. Man, I'm so, I'm so emotional. I'm so terrified, but I am so fucking excited to get back to Final Fantasy 14 next week. I'm gonna try to schedule the streams a little bit differently next week because normally what we would do is we would just have FF14 on the Friday, but I think what we might do is do it, um, do a just chatting stream on Monday or I may take Monday off. I'll see how I feel. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we can do MSQ. How does that sound? Would y'all be down for like two or three back to back uh, MSQ streams? I really want to get through Endwalker and I play this game very slowly because I chat with y'all and like I run around, you know? Yeah, so I think next week we'll, we'll either do two or three. I'll be there if I can, but I raid on Wednesdays. No worries, no worries. No pressure, Elle. You can always lurk while I go through MSQ. Fuck, chat. Thank you for all the love today. And I'm sorry. Hi, Mansion. Hi, Eswild. Hello, hello. Oh, Joker. Hello, and Eternal. Hey. I, to anyone that I missed while I was going through those cutscenes, hello, thank you for hanging out with us, and thank you for all of the love today, chat. Like, truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all the gifted subs and bits and donations. They mean everything to me. I will not be live tomorrow. It's my friend's birthday. We're going out. Um, but I will be back, if not Monday, Wednesday, with more MSQ. I'll, I'll try to be live Monday, okay? I'll, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. Thanks guys so much. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like anxious. I'm anxious. I cried what like five times today. I like I literally this game is fucking me up. This game is absolutely fucking me up. It's fucking killing me. It's absolutely killing me. All right, we're gonna go raid my friend Dan. Dan is playing Deceive. I don't know what that is, but Dan is a really cool fellow. So let's 
get some some nodders in his chat, okay? Let's get some Syra nodders ready to, to spam his chat with, okay? I still gotta work on creating a raid message for all of us to use, but for now, we can just spam nod. Don't forget to join. Don't forget to join my Discord server and follow me on social media. That way you can stay up to date with all of my shenanigans and get notified for when I go live. Can we get a Discord and social media bump in the chat really quickly? Thank you, Caleb. Thank you guys so much. I will see you all. I'll see you all soon. Or who knows? Maybe even tomorrow night I'll go live. And we'll probably just play Fall Guys. I can't. I won't be able to do MSQ tomorrow. But yeah. Okay. Bye, friends. Have a good night, sleep well, I'll see you in the Discord, and, and what have you. Bye! Wait, what did I do? What is happening? Did I click the wrong thing? Oh, I did. Wait, wrong thing. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Oh, hi, Syra. How are you? Good evening. Hi, everybody. Welcome. <laughs>